just want to kick this shit off by saying fuck y'all. I ain't got to clear my name on a motherfucking thing. Every time I get mentioned, one of y'all bitch ass niggas get 24 hours of attention. I'm going to get this shit off my chest and lay it to rest. Let's go. And if the beat live, I, I feel like Mariah Carey. Got these niggas so obsessed. My pussy so famous might get managed by Chris Jenner next. He can't move on, can't let it go. He hook no full of that Tina Snow. And since niggas need making help to make money, bitch, come be my hoe. All of you bitches is we gonna bribe. I have a shit for a nor can find you. I can never be just by a bitch that was dancing, making our Kelly go viral. Hey, I'm sexy as fuck and I'm freaky. Get whoever I want any meaning. Why the fuck would I stay with a nigga that's picky? The sheets and don't know how to please me. Bodies on bodies on bodies on bodies. Same for making it now your topic. These niggas thinking they know what the bag. All the street come out, I'm the profit. Hey, when a nigga be kissing the tiller, say he'll play up again, it's fillers. Bet I won't give up the pussy again. Shit, shit, I ain't had it to his friend. These hoes gonna be mad at Megan. These hoes mad at Megan's law. I don't even really know what the problem is, but I guarantee y'all want me to start. Bitch, you a pussy. Never finna check me. Every chance you get, bitch, how weak ass wanna dress me. Bitch, just swear they cheat, but the G must stand for pussy. When the fuck get all the gangs, the niggas turn to cookies. Everybody wanna kick it when you ain't a threat. These niggas don't like me cause they know I'm on their neck. Y'all goofy ass hoes look so dumb every time y'all celebrate fake news. <laughs> Using my name for likes and views. I don't give a fuck what y'all make trend, bitch. I still win. <laughs> Nigga, ain't you here? I ain't scared of dick. Any man go against me, I handle shit. I'm the chef when I'm done in the courtroom. Never throwing that dirt, don't shit stick. All these little rap niggas so fraud. Saying they speed they hardest bars. These niggas hate on BBS when we walk around with the same scars. Real curvy, dick action. Niggas fight to get in my section. So I speak on my bike count. If the dick ain't worth coming back to seconds. Cosplay, gangsters. Fake ass accents. Posted in another nigga hood like a bad bitch. Oh, big dog bitch can't little sizzly. Ho get views when they tryna diss me. Make one move, got him in the tizzy. Killing shit, that's what they tryna rip me. Still going hard with the odds against me. These niggas don't have fancy bots. These bitches don't have fancy shots. And they still tuned in if they fans or not. Allegations from the opposition. Fish niggas just beating it up. These bars get paid to lie. Y'all talk shit and be broke as fuck. Bottom line is I'm still rich. You making bad and I'm still good. Bringing up who might have fucked. And the bottom line is they still good. I just want to fuck my nigga in peace. But all my old niggas still love me. Niggas ain't hit this pussy in years. Damn, I know my shit was heat. None of you niggas was white material. None of you niggas was worth all the drama. None of you niggas was hitting it raw. But man, I'm not one of your baby mom. Always got my ass out. Always let my titty show. When I'm in the gym, I think about bitches that I'm shitting on. I'm way too fucking cocky to take him back if he been cheating. I can't let none of you raggedy bitches think that y'all my equal. Ever since I claim the summer, all you bitches want a season. That's the whole why she don't like me, but she can't give you a reason. You know motherfucking will. These bitches want to sound like Tina. Don't you ever grab a mic and think that me and you competing. Hey, bad bitch in the house ain't been there. Host go told me for trending. Why every time we y'all see this host to it, you hack it, bitch. Who give a fuck who the what? You niggas is hacking. Nothing. Oh, the internet's hyping this shit to me? Write them a little song. <laughs> Say, bitch ass nigga, don't write me nothing else. Don't write me nothing else. Download JPEG since y'all niggas got so much to say. Or schedule a conjugal visit or something. <laughs> Dick riding ass niggas. <laughs> What's going on, Conscious Crew? TGIF. Well, technically, it is Saturday. What's going on? Let me change my mic real quick. All right. What's going on, you guys? So we're here with the late night improv girl to get into the drama because the girls are indeed fighting down to the ground, girl. Now I got my special handy dandy co-host and sidekick here, Reckless Logic, to get into the things, girl, because there's a lot that's been going down in the last 48 hours, and we're going to cover every inch of it. But before we do so, you guys need to go ahead and get the thumbs up up until they are absolutely stuck. You guys know that thumbing up helps with YouTube's algorithm. But more importantly, uh, thumbing up helps triggers up the notification system. So when you are thumbing up the video, you are literally knocking on the digital door of another conscious crew member and telling them to get their arses into the sanctuary. Also, I need you guys to make sure that you guys are sharing the content out. Also, welcome to all of the new subbies. And everybody need to make sure that they have the notification bell set to all. All right? With no further ado, let's go ahead and push on through. Oh, I know a place where you can recharge your soul. And in the midst of brokenness, he gon' see your ass home. Baby, that's conscious TV. You gon' heal, you gon' laugh and catch a little shade. Y'all know he be slaying, y'all better stop playing. Come hear what he's saying. Ladies and gentlemen.
All right, what is going on, you guys? So before we get started, um, something really weird happened on my channel earlier. I don't know what exactly it is, but I'm going to get to the bottom of it. So I had uh, demodded all of my moderators until I figure out what's happening. So if you don't have a ranch or whatever, I did not make an announcement, etc. I just cleared it. I also didn't have time to investigate yet, but um, when I'm done with my investigation, then we will <sighs> represent <laughs> the moderators. But until I get to the bottom of what took place earlier, which I don't have time to get into right now, I will then mod everybody up, all right? So investigation pending. Now, also, this is going to be a very, 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 very honest uh, reaction to everything that's going on. <laughs> I'm going to personally, I'm just going to give y'all an honest reaction, girl. And I know my co-host going to do the very same. We know that the fans are going to be fanning, girl. It's probably going to be some barbs in here. It's going to be some stallionaires in here. It's going to be, you know, fandom, et cetera, girl. We welcome all opinions. It bees what it bees. Um, but before we do so, before we get into the thick of it, let me go ahead and bring my co-host in here. He put on draws. I'm trying to make sure that he good before, girl, I let him up. I think he Gucci. Give me a thumbs up, girl. Is your, uh, is your boozy, is your bussy in the panties? Okay. All right. Hi. Hello. <laughs> What's going on, Reckless Logic? How you doing on this Friday? You ain't popping no puss in Florida? Uh, no, no, no. Wrong girl. Not, wrong person. Not tonight. Oh, wrong girl tonight. Got it. No, well, no. Reckless is an old nasty piece of content creator, so let these folks know where they can find you at, because you out here on these YouTube streets. Though. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the land of Reckless Logic. Please make sure you guys pop that like button, hit the subscribe button, and please, please, please smack the notification bell so do not miss any more posts from us. And with that being said, my name is Reckless Logic, and of course, I am accompanied with uh, Conscious TV. Um, you can most definitely find me on YouTube as Reckless Logic. Of course, Logic is spelled with two Cs. And also, you can also find me over on Instagram, where I like to also make a lot of my announcements because I know the algorithm over here on YouTube is a little weird. You can most definitely find me on YouTube and also Instagram by Reckless Logic. Of course, spelt the same. That's it. Period. Girl! Were you... How shook were you? How shook are you at this his record? Um... Shook. Before we even get into the minutia of it, just what were your initial feels and energies around Miss Hiss? Well, I'm going to be honest. I'm not shook or even shocked by any of this because by the snippet that Megan actually put out, I knew she was going to talk her shit. Now, I wasn't sure how far she was going to take it, but I knew it was going to be somewhat in the facility. And to be completely honest, I knew that she was going to somewhat be throwing digs because for one it said hiss i'm like okay that's a snake once again we had cobra but now we got hiss um hiss is more of a signal and then not only that she did confirm over on the breakfast club that she, the interview the short interview that she did with charlamagne the god and envy dj envy where she did mention hiss is something that snakes do to kind of give out a warning sign hiss a play for on this like someone said in the, uh in your live chat where his is the warning, leave me alone. So I kind of knew it was going to be somewhere in that facility. That energy was going to be somewhere like that. Um, I just didn't know how far she was going to take it. But I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. When the hell was she on a breakfast club? I totally was living under a rock. No, um, it, it, they called They called her. So she wasn't in there. Like, she wasn't there mm -hmm. actually in person. But she did call in and she did actually explain what was the record? Uh, what what type of all in all, what type of energy the record was gonna be, and why did she do the record, etc., etc., etc. So that's essentially what the short interview was about. At least that snippet of what I seen. So yeah, so I'm not shocked. Wow. And to be completely honest, Nikki spiraling out of control. I'm not shocked either. She always. Does. <laughs> 
Oh, we're gonna get into all of that, honey. We're gonna get into all of that. <laughs> now, speaking of now, speaking of snakes hissing, I just looked up uh something from the sprucepets.com website, and it said that all species of snakes can hiss, but some snakes naturally hiss more than others. Snakes living in the wild tend to hiss more readily than snakes in captivity. This is because while snakes typically find themselves in danger more frequently than pet snakes, so they are used to reacting to uncertain or dangerous situations with a hiss. Fun fact, snakes don't hiss at other snakes to talk to each other. Hissing is only intended to be heard by potential non-snake predators. In fact, Snakes can't even hear other snakes hissing. This is due to the frequency of the hissing sound, which is too high for snakes to hear. My God, today snakes hiss when they are afraid, when they are annoyed, when they are digesting a meal, and when they are shedding their skin, which was the prelude in the Cobra video she was coming out of. Another layer of man. My God, this is taking me back to old school musicality, girl. Where you know the artists would actually artists. They would have things for their albums. They would have symbolisms. You know, it'll be an entire circus. So this is, you know, we got Beyonce's Renaissance. You know, which was on theme, on brand. Even yeah. Oluka with. Barbie, Barbie World, she's been on brand as well. Now we're getting Miss Meg with, you yeah, know, the whole Cobra thing. I'm living for it. Now, everybody knows that you're pro that obviously you're not the biggest Onika fan. Um, Have you heard Pink Friday 2 yet? Songs, yes. Oh, you have heard Pink Friday 2? Yes, some of it. Like, how how big of a percent would you say? 50, Not 60, much. 80? Not much. What did you hear? Do you remember what you heard? Fuck the club up. Fuck the, fuck the club okay. up. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? No. Okay, well, so you... Uh, what, 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 I'm going to say it like this, because I'll be on TikTok a lot. If I hear a song, I, at the moment, I can't name it. But if I hear it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I heard that. But I know the one I can name off the top of my dome is... So you only heard one percent of the record. Got one percent of the one oh. percent of the record that I can think of the top of my dome because I'm pretty sure I heard more songs, but I just can't name them. So mm -hmm. I don't want a lot of y'all. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with one for now. But if I if someone comes up and they that we start going back and forth and they say a song, like, okay, I heard that, but Chas I can't name it. Saint Marquis says. Pink Friday done came and gone. Now, what's interesting about Meg and this record, this dish record hiss, is that Meg been telling the girls that she's coming. She was like, look, I think it was a live stream like, what, a month or two ago, but she was like, look, these bitches been calling my name like Candyman. I'm about to be outside, outside. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I've been hearing the yabba dabba do. I've been hearing the birds chirping. I've been hearing the things of the things, girl. I am coming. Meg, in fact, came. Now, before we even get into the 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 deeps of his revisiting Cobra, cause Party, her ex boyfriend, who held her down during the whole Tory Lane's trial situation, he did respond to what fans assumed were lyrics about him when Megan pretty much made allegations that an ex-boyfriend was getting real, real super freaky in her home, in her bed, getting real nasty, girl. And the fans were like going up for her and giving party in his do-rag that work because how could you disrespect the queen? when she was already going through so much in the media. What are your thoughts about that particular uh, verse? Did you think it had to do with Party? And how did you feel about Party responding? Because Meg also responded to him responding to this ambiguous verse. Uh, I'm, okay, so what I'm going to say is this in terms of that. 
in terms of Megan Thee Stallion and Party, they both can speak their truths. Like for me, I try not to be the person that gets one well, said offended, mad, or irritated that when someone speaks their truth. So on that foundation, they both can speak their truth. Now I'm gonna tell you where you know, we both gonna reel it back in. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to be fair on this. <laughs> in terms of Megan, if you were going to make allegations about an ex-boyfriend cheating then you should have known that they're possibly going to bring up partisan and or the former boyfriend i want to say the international soccer player that you were dating i, I, I don't know if he was soccer player. i think he was a soccer player but i'm gonna say athlete that you were dating now since i will say this since your relationship with partisan was i would say for me i believe was way more public people are automatically going to assume it's partisan and of course that may trigger a response for partisan to respond now that's that so i feel like if you was going to say it put a name on it <laughs> like we always say put a name on it fuck the sub put a name on it now on the flip side of it i'm also going to say this partisan you literally came to the internet to try to clear your name but in all actuality, you talked out of both sides of your neck. You literally said that allegedly it had nothing to do with you. Uh, yada, 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 yada. But if people actually listen to what he actually said, and a lot of people did catch what he said, is that he did cheat, but it wasn't in the way that she described. <laughs> so it's like, girl, you uh, niggas ain't shit, girl. So that's how, how I kind of feel about it, honestly. Now, you know, he also responded to her responding back because he responded yeah. with the dish record. He made some interesting allegations against Miss Tina Snow that uh, she lost that damn weight on Ozempic and Lipo, <laughs> uh, that she's a part of the Ozempic boule, <laughs> that uh, she can't be trusted, that she was popping that uh, Cobra puss all across you know, the situations and the situations that, you know, maybe there had been some infidelity on her part is what was alluded to. What do you, so, because there's a lot to unpack here, honey, okay, because look. That's why, that's why I'm over here eating, because I know we're going to be here for a little minute. <laughs> it's, it's, right, because, you know, I, I, I want to be fair to Onika as well, okay, <laughs> because, you know, I got the capacity to be fair um, seventy percent of this commentary gonna lean in support of Megan, but we are gonna have to tug on Megan's wig a little bit as well here. So actually, I'm gonna we'll revisit this because something's gonna segue and uli up up our way into another situation. So getting into this dish record, girl, this dish record that has now been heard all around the country. Nicki Minaj is in fact spiraling, girl. I don't know whether she's gonna relapse, girl. Okay, she looking like Chris Tucker when, yeah. you know, he had the white powdery substance around his mouth, eyeballs bulging all upside of his damn head, baby. Onika was not ready, bitch, at all, honey. The way that she ran down to that damn basement, girl, and started editing um, damn instrumentals on Final Cut Pro, bitch, okay? The way she couldn't even make it down the elevator in time enough, girl. Baby, when I tell you the way... The way I was sitting there listening to that, uh, listening to that live, and she would all this more, like more. Now, don't get me wrong; she does have her own special language, uh, like all that she does. But I was like, "Girl, what the hell, what girl?" The hell going on? She had her spiraling. When I say spiraling, what is with Nicki Minaj always coming off strung out? Yeah. Well, is it is it is it a person not is it just is it acting is it a personality disorder what I, or is she in the astral plane well i'm gonna say this, i feel like it's, i feel i feel it's multiple things at work i personally feel that for one it's safe to assume well i'm gonna say safe, safe to assume she is addicted to some sort of substances 
some well, sort. she did admit in she a recent admit. Vogue interview that right. at some point in time that she right. was addicted to pills and potions, even though it's being argued that that time may even still be the present day, allegedly. But go on. Right. That she's addicted or she's using certain substances. Um, and to be completely honest, she allowed us before that interview with Vogue, she allowed us to make that assumption as well because she also let it be known that knock knock guess what if you want to know what type of narcotics substances that i am using go look at my music and so when we did that and we did some we digging, found out that it was kokio in the tokyo and then and, uh, let's also be clear as well every time she does hold on wait a minute wait a minute a kenneth petty is trying to call me on instagram right now kenneth oh. I'm, I'm working kenneth we're not gonna do your wife too bad, okay? Hold on, let yeah. me let me decline, let me decline Kenneth's girl. Let me put my phone on airplane mode. Kenneth, stop trying to sabotage this live stream, Teddy. Go ahead, uh, reckless. No, but I was gonna say, like, in terms of I feel like it's the substances, and like she said, she did admit looking her music, and then on top of that, that gave people the foundation, even if they didn't have the foundation beforehand, it gave them the foundation to make assumptions without any type of penalty because you did give them that green light. And so I think that's at work. And I also believe that it's a saying that says all creative geniuses are somewhat on the spectrum. So mm. she is a genius in a, in a master at her craft. And so with that being said, if you actually get into the industry and it, to be really honest, if you look at a lot of the celebrities, I'm not saying when they're picture perfect, I'm not even saying when they're in interviews where they're supposed to, looking and these one two three abc corrected answers i'm talking about when you kind of catch them off guard they're very much that most of the creative people are not all the way there you actually take a time if you actually take some time to actually look out look out at them outside of the lens of them being a celebrity and you actually watch them they're very much kind of weird they're kind of quote unquote weird they're kind of quote unquote what some people may uh, assume to if it was anybody else, they're strange. Like, let's let's just call a spade a spade. And this is not even me digging at Nikki. This is just me proving my point. Let's say you were somebody and you y'all sitting there having y'all fun, and then all of a sudden this bitch go <laughs> look at her like she's crazy. <laughs> but I think that's because she is a genius within her own right. Same way with like someone said, Cat Williams. And he's very restrained himself, but however, he's very creative and very much a, a Kanye craft. Kanye, Kanye West, Beyonce, Michael Kanye Prince, West. CTV. Yes. You know, we're all a little unhinged. Yes, Just and like it. like Scotty uh, Saturn said, creative people tend to be celebs because they are comfortable being their crazy genius self. And so I think those two things are at work. And now it could be some more things. Well, it is more things that work because also you also have to take into account that it's a lot of ego in, involved in terms of all of them, to be completely honest. That's the reason why I'm the queen of rap. I'm this, I'm that. Yada, yada is always to remind everybody else because the thing about it, what's understood doesn't have to be explained, but it's always being explained. Okay, well, we're going to get into that too, girl, because Nicki Minaj, Miss Threesome went live not once, but twice today. And that last live, girl, Tina Snow, I hope you in protected custody, baby. Because Miss Onika was not playing with your ass in that last live, bro. So let's get into his, all right? Now, this is courtesy of Complex. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here, actually. Okay, it gets into a little bit of a lyrical breakdown because you know she came from Miss Drake, um, Onika's uh surrogate, also came for party, Onika Minaj, and Miss Tory Ball Spot Langs. All right, now this is courtesy of Miss Complex.com. Who is Megan the Stallion talking about on his? We break down every disc. Megan Thee Stallion's latest single, His, is titled after a snake's warning shot 
but within moments of its release, it was clear that the hot girl was done making threats. For this one, she was emptying the clip. Checking in at a little over three minutes, Megan's latest is an apparent response to any and all who've thrown shade her way the last few months. Here she embraces a rapper's technicianship as well as her own base of ferocity, letting loose incisive, tightly coiled couplets at unnamed enemies. She doesn't get specific, but all it takes is a cursory look at the Meg news cycle to understand where all this vitriol is coming from. In December of 2022, Tory Lanez was convicted of felony assaults for ooting Megan in her foot after leaving Kylie Jenner's pool party in July of 2020, and he was sentenced to 10 years in prison for the crime in August 2023. Since then, Megan has been subjected to claims that she was lying about the incident with one of the most notable jabs being a Drake lyric from his 2022 joint album with 21 Savage, her loss before his, Megan addressed the mental strain of being doubted across multiple projects. And in November, she alluded to the matter on Cobra, wherein she seemingly accused her ex-boyfriend, partisan Fotain of cheating. For his part, Party responded with the person where he accused Megan of getting liposurgery and embellishing the details of their breakup. He also claimed that Megan had had sex with a few other men besides him, a contextless series of lines that only served to slut shame. After a month later, Nicki Minaj made what appeared to be a thinly veiled jab at Meg on her Pink Friday 2 cut, Fuck the Club Up. With all this in mind, Meg had to had a lot to address, and with his, she seemingly does so. Speaking to the Breakfast Club this morning, she broadly spoke on her targets. Quote, it's for these bitches and these hoes, bitches and hoes alike, men or women, every time one of them motherfuckers use Megan Thee Stallion name, they get 24 hours of attention, she explained. Basically, I understand what y'all are doing, and I want y'all to get up off me. Do something else. Do something different. Use another tactic. This one getting old. Now it's time to dissect the bars. Just who is Megan talking about? This one appears to be the first of multiple clear shots at partisan Fontaine. Quote, he can't move on, can't let it go. He hooked, nose full of that Tina Snow. And since niggas need Megan to help to make money, bitch, come be my hoe. My God, shots are fired! After Megan seemed to accuse Party of being unfaithful during their relationship, he unloaded on her with the person a scathing track where he accused Megan of being a flat-out liar. About a month later, he released the X-Tape EP, and he discussed Meg's claim and his response in a series of interviews. Whether it was intentional or not, bringing Meg's name up is a guaranteed way to get press coverage, and that's exactly what the hell he got. The next line of questioning, or the next verse in question is, all you bitches is weak, on the Bible, week on the Bible, talking shit for. I know I can find you. I can never be just by a bitch that was dancing, making R. Kelly go viral. This one remains to be determined, perhaps open-ended for whoever catches a stray. Nope, this not. It was Miss Onika Minaj who was twirling to a R. Kelly track in a live stream a while back. And she caught some heat for that, but... Considering that Nikki seems to be a pedal apologist, none of us were surprised that she was still, okay, keeping the Kang's name in lights, camera, and actions, despite his ass being behind bars with Big Dick Derek making that bussy clap. The next verse in question was, why the fuck would I stay with the nigga that's weak in the sheets and don't know how to please me? It would be easy to say this one is another jab at party, but it could also be a general commentary on the notion that women are expected to be loyal to their partner no matter what. But implicitly, this could just be a sly way to say her ex wasn't holding his own in bed. Reckless, do you think that this particular verse, because as you said, you know, she's had a few 
public relationships. We know one with party, um, as you said, the other athlete, et cetera, that she was dating for some time. Do you think this is about party? Because party does give me real big man, real little meat. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to say this. Um, he doesn't give me little meat. What he gives me, he gives me big man, big meat. But a lot of times women, they always say this all the time, is that a lot of men don't know what they're doing with it. As in, everything's always pound town. And a lot of times... Women, they 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 mess with it, take me to pound town, but now they don't want that all the time. But for me personally, it could be, it, it really could be associated with anybody. But for the general public's sake, for viewers in the audience, it's safe for us to assume, or what we may just assume, it most likely is partisan because that's the only person who really has been coming at her. Um, in terms of recently, in terms of men. Because we know for a fact, or at least, no, we know for a fact that she did not sleep with Drake. Because guess what? If that was the case, Nicki Minaj has that in her vote, she would have been said it. So, especially- Well, I don't know, know, though. I don't know because she got a relationship to Drake. So, maybe he could be sworn to secrecy. Sworn to secrecy? But- she could be sworn to secrecy. Or at least hinted towards it. Like I feel, I feel like this. She would have said it. If we know Nicki Minaj, she would have said it. She would have said it. Now, she well, Megan is a hot girl, which means she got a hot puss, and she's looking for no. good dick, and Drake don't give good dick. But that's the thing. No, but but that, just follow me. That's the reason why I'm trying to narrow out, narrow down the people that she could be talking about. She could, be, of course, be talking about partisan. She could be talking it's about the, uh, I highly doubt it, but the athlete. Nah, she that athlete got lonely. She could be indirectly talking about the Tory, but I highly doubt. I don't think she's talking about Tory because she said, why would I stay with? She never made claim that she was with Tory to begin with. So I I don't think it's Tory. But I'm just saying in general, she could be talking about anybody. She's talking about party ass. But, but. This is party. To assume it's probably partisan. This This is party ass. And Andre says, uh, nah, party gets big freak. A lot of little dick niggas are freak. I mean, being a freak and having functional uh, high-value meat are two different things. Uh, your freak level and your meat level, them two different levels, baby. Okay? So you can be, matter of fact, some of the biggest freaks, some of the best coochie eaters, some of the best bussy eaters is now, niggas, who lacking, niggas who lacking in between the legs. Now, someone did say in your live chat, it was Party and money bag. Now, the only reason why I wouldn't be so, at least for me personally, I wouldn't be so quick to believe that is because, to my knowledge, money bag hasn't really came out at least recently, said anything bad about Megan or or has come out to disrespect Megan. You get what I'm saying? So, he, she could because only God knows. Because once again, we're the general public, we're the outsiders looking in. Uh, some of us, most of us are outside of the industry. So that does not mean just because a person has not come out and said something directly in the social media streets or in the general public's view, that does not mean stuff happened behind the scenes, which means that, yeah, I could be making this diss track about Nikki, about Tori, about Party, about all these other people. But guess what? I'm also gonna put you in there too because I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna add you in there. Like I said, I'm gonna address all, all this BS. Mm-hmm. And y'all gonna get 24 hours of attention, so it could be that. And like I said, money back cheated on her, which is why they broke up. But I was so this is the thing, though. too. See, Meg is also in her anti hero era, so anybody can get this work right now, even niggas that ain't came for her publicly. This is just her open diary season, baby. Okay, she just with the shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's continue to funnel through these lyrics. The next uh, set of lyrics in question are bodies on bodies on bodies on bodies. Say he fucked Megan and now he the topic. These niggas thinking they lowered the value. All this free promo, I turn a profit. Okay, now to me, you guys know there's now been two other Negroes who have claimed that they you know had tanked that big old wolf puss. 
and that was y'all's favorite uh hip hop artist, the baby. And that was recently Blueface, okay, who stirred up a lot of shit, had Krishan and her missing tooth all in the yeah. frizzy bitch, okay. Out here getting the block hot, you know. Blue fo- Blueface claimed that Megan sucked him off at four in the morning, and the baby, you know, claimed a few months back on the Breakfast Club that he was doggy styling that coochie meat. What you reason, think, Reckless? Wait, why for some reason? And I could be wrong on this, and I don't want to add another body to her. Why for some reason I thought there was association with? Actually, before I say, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up before I say it. But um, are we? Sh- I'm not shocked. These niggas be on code. <laughs> I'm not shocked. Now, do I believe she did it or not? It's a possibility. Possibility, possibility she did. It's a, possibility, it's a possibility as well she didn't do it. But I don't know. But before I say something, let me just verify. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a say I'm leaning toward belief because it was yes. just too random to not be. It's like, okay, if I'm just, I'm giving all these fucking benefit of a doubt that yeah. when they say that I've been with somebody, they done probably more than likely been with somebody. And why insert that if that's not the case? We do know that the industry is small. Most of these people are fucking on the same niggas. They fucking on the same pussy. They fucking on the same throats. That's why yeah. Love and Hip Hop is able to exist all across the damn United States. Um, because all these people are in bed together. Now, if Megan is a hot girl, that means that she know what you know, uh, Reckless. Yo, that, oh, 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 so you want to rephrase that, that, that statement. So you mean what you know? I okay, know. that Megan knows what we both know. I don't know. I don't know who the hell we, who was we? You mean you? Okay, well, listen to the biblications that I'm about to deliver. Okay, Megan okay. know what me and you know, which is that good dick. Oh, I'm a virgin. Is trauma inducing <laughs> delinquent several mug shots three baby mothers several out of wedlock children oh, one gold tooth drug pillaging living at home with mama dick yeah so if megan turned all her four seasons into one big ass long summer baby <laughs> And was out there self-medicating by getting on some of the hardest dick, baby. Blue face and the baby level of toxicity would qualify them to probably have very spell casting enchanting dick. I mean, we see the way that blue face got Krishan and Jada in a damn chokehold, girl. I mean, he got Krishan and her damn tooth moving it, moving back into the house. Paying his damn bills while he down there on his knees at the local LAPD precinct. I mean, that's that's the type of dick that eat. See, when bitches start acting like that, I need some too. Maybe I need to. I need to see what's going on for research purposes. Mm-mm. Can somebody find out if LAPD precinct allows for conjugal visits, bitch? Mm-mm. Okay, when the hoes get to acting like that, baby, you whistleblowing Mm-mm. and us researchers and investigators Mm-mm. need to personally go see what's going on down there. Nope. What's happening, baby? Nope, 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 nope. Uh-uh. Wait, but, but guess what? Shawnee, Shawnee was recently <laughs> exposed allegedly, girl, the first lady of Nebraska, you know, Miss, Miss, Miss Henderson O'Neill, for allegedly playing her toxic piece of sneaky link dick 50k for the bus down before she went down the aisle and married her first gentleman and i was telling the girls in the last hot topics that yeah. that's what you do okay you fuck on toxic dick you marry the dick you can bring home to mama now the dick you can bring home to mama is boring dick okay we all know if anybody here been with a pastor it ain't nothing more bland and more vanilla than Holy Ghost filled dick, baby. That dick is just too innocent to really bring out the demon time in you, baby. Okay, so every high valued woman who is wise knows to fuck on toxic dick 
but you don't have the nerve to marry, girl. Toxic dick. You don't get the game fucked up like that. You are a woman of prestige who got something to lose Coretta Scott O'Neill. Okay? So, Coretta Scott O'Neill is letting y'all know what time it is, baby. Okay? When y'all hit that Kevin Samuels bracket boat, keep your mental in check. Don't let wild dick turn you out like that, and then you end up like Jada and Krishan as sister wives. Now, let's move on to the next set of lyrics here. Hate when a nigga be kissing and telling. Say he a player, but he in his feelings. Bet I won't give up the pussy again. Shit should have gave it to his friend. That probably was to the baby. What you think? Because she called out these niggas for kissing and telling. So she low key. Yeah. See, I like that. She kind of sending in her shit. Yeah. She ain't saying these niggas are lying. She just like, nigga, y'all bitches. What's the thing? Shut your ass up. Shut it up, <laughs> girl. Ever been swallowed? Ever been swallowed? Well, apparently, they, your ass won't be swallowed anymore, bitch. You keep opening your damn mouth. So, Megan, what that damn means, girl, is that you need to also, while they beating the coochie, have them beating down an NDA, girl. NDA. Okay? Beat down that NDA. The other lyric is, these hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes be mad at Megan's law. <laughs> now, girl, hold on. We Hold on. Let me see. Okay, hold on. We're going to get back to that one, girl, because that was the that was the cracking. That was the cracking right there. We're going to come back to that. You've been swallowed. So the next lyrics in question are, bitch, you a pussy. Never finna check me. Every chance you get, bitch, a weak ass won't address me. Bitch, it's where they G, but the G must stand for goofy. Now, who you think? Is it is it is it for the alleged queen of rap? You think that's for the alleged? Yeah, well, yeah, I think this Christ is safe to assume that yeah, the G stand for goofy is that she's might more, more than likely talking about Nikki because even in Trauma Zine, there were lines with it throughout the album that literally said that now one I can remember off the top of the I'm about to paraphrase it. It says something on the lines of girl, your husband is the gangster. You are not stop all the acting. <laughs> it doesn't look good on you. That's essentially what Megan said in one of them. I forgot. I think it's blessing and the curse. Mm -hmm. Don't don't quote me on the song, but I know it's on the album. She was saying, "Girl, stop all the acting. You're not a G." And then then on top of that, take into consideration, there's been several times where Nikki is not the person in terms of seeing a person head up. Like face to face, as we learned from the Cardi debacle. I'm standing right here at the I Harper's see. Bazaar debacle. I'm right here. And I'm right also, here. And then also, too, someone said it could be Drake. Drake saw that. Well, Drake definitely caught those extendo bullets in this next one. When the fuck did all the gangster niggas turn to groupies? Everybody want to kick it when you in a threat. These niggas don't like me because they know. I'm on the neck. All these little rap niggas so fraud. Xanax be their hardest bars. These niggas hate on BBLs and be walking around with the same scars. Shots fucking fired. Not Everybody me, knows that it was rumored that Drake allegedly got his goddamn cell you like wrinkled out on 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 the surgery table, girl. That they had them vacuumed. All of his damn cholesterol and diabetes up out of his damn love handles and things. Um, do you think this was long overdue? Because you know, he been low-key coming for Meg for no reason. But you know, he tends to have an affinity toward harassing black women who mind in their damn business. I don't think it's no reason. Like, I I just know that he's gonna come after Megan because she was going after Nikki, or they were going back and forth in terms of her and Nikki. So I just knew that eventually he probably was gonna tug on, just throw a little. Okay, there we go. Throw a little stray here and there, and then on top of it, it doesn't help that the whole Tory Lane situation occurred, which gave even if people didn't have a legit reason before to really dislike Megan, it gave people who already was waiting for that moment just to jump on that ass. It gave people that moment to really just really put in their support for the 
opposite side or the opposing side just just out of spite of Megan Thee Stallion, whether he did it or not. Mm. So I believe that no matter because of the optics, regardless, he was going to most definitely put his little two cents in there because Nikki and Drake. Now, in terms of him actually coming out, here's my thing with Drake. My thing with Drake is, is that you have bigger fish to fry because the thing about it is that you always you're always trying to throw subs at Megan Thee Stallion. Where was these subs when you were in that rap beef where homeboy was tearing your ass up? <laughs> Who's homeboy? Who's homeboy? Uh, hold up. I want to make sure. Push a P. Is it push a P? Not push Let me a see. P. Let me see. Because I know he dragged the hell out of Meek yeah. Mill's ass. Push a T. There we go. Push a T. There we go. Because, girl, you know I'm bad with names. Push a T was tearing your ass up. Throwing, had, bit, was grabbing you every which way but loose. Turning you every which way but loose. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> turn My you God, every which way but loose. So, when are you gonna respond? Have a good response because the thing about it is that keep in mind, I'm on the outside. Like when when they be having their little rap beats, I'm on the outside. But when I was doing my searching, doing my looking, people saying Pusha T was tearing that ass up. Now, the thing about it, Drake, you were tearing, you tore a hole in Meek Mill. Pusha T, Meek Mill, two, two, two different people. Now, I can see if you was a rap artist or a rapper that didn't give a fuck and you just went against any and everybody <laughs> and tore everybody else up, then I'd be like, okay, girl, this, this is what he does. But Pusha T tore that ass up. You need to worry about Pusha T while Nikki worry about everybody else. Stay out of it. Cosplay gangsters fake ass accents posted in another nigga hood like a bad bitch. Another Drake wound, baby. Drake got bullet down, girl. I mean, just turn Drake and Nicki Minaj into uh clean your ass from set it off, baby, at the end, girl. Just told the spray the hell down. Still going hard with the odds against me. These niggas don't have fans. They bots. These bitches don't have ass. They should. Oh, my God. These blogs get paid to lie. Y'all talk shit and be broke as fuck. Who you think she talking about? Is it giving TMZ? Is it giving a shade room? Is it giving neighborhood talk? Is it giving Jasmine brands? Who you think are the blogs she talking about? Well, I would probably assume, and this is me speaking, I can't confirm or deny this. I'm going to assume it's probably Shade Room because there has been several. Se uh, come on, Mammy Radio. There too. But. Oh, I I'm forgot gonna, about gonna Mammy Radio. <laughs> so forgettable. Also, so someone did say Trans Wiggins in the comment section. But I will say Her this too. despite those two. I was I'm, I'm gonna probably assume it's the shade room because there has there has been several instances where there were beefs situations popping off and certain parts of the story was edited out in terms of how many responses that Nikki probably put out. <laughs> how many uh tweets that she put out how many subs that's really in the music that was put out so i i believe that it could be the shade room but i could be wrong girl i could be but i believe it's a shade room anybody else beside nikki when it comes to these ass shots you think she referring to i think she's just talking in general nah baby when you're doing a dish record ain't nothing general honey you it, 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 every verse is directed towards something and some damn body or bodies ain't no ain't no randoms in the district okay, so so who who else would she have a that's what i'm asking is um or or any of the 305 holes uh or the 304 holes any of the city girls got ass shots well i know carisha got her body done but her and carisha cool her and Carisha's cool. I don't think her and JT has has an issue unless I don't know about it. Uh, well, you know, she spoke about her uh, 
JT getting funny because JT was supposed to actually fe- be featured on her record, but then that yeah. that interview was done before we got word that she had also did the Super Freaky Grandma remix, which is what JT was working on yeah. at the time yeah. that she was supposed to turn in her verse for Miss Meg. So we kind of was able to put two and two together that she slotted on Meg out of some perceived loyalty to Miss Oniqua. Well, that could be that could be true. But I was also gonna say people are saying Erica Banks in the in the and live somebody live. said Erica who? The who? Erica Banks. Who? <laughs> Lo- okay. Love the hip hop, Erica Banks. You can look Woo! it up. Bust it, bust it. But another person too. It could be uh, dang that the, the person name just slipped my mind. Uh, who got a BBL? Slipped my mind, but it got to be somebody with ass shot. Somebody with a big yeah, old eight. Yeah, it could have been somebody with ass shots. But because another person I'm thinking of that it, it could not be is Cardi. They're they're cool. Nah, oh, that, it ain't that, Cardi. That, 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 the other person they said was apparently Jada Kingdom. I don't know too much about Jada. I'm a th- I'm, isn't that um uh, what's his name? I don't know who the hell Jada Kingdom is. is. Partisan new girl. I want to. Yeah, say that's that. his new girl. Mm-hmm. So it could that could because I I do believe that in his there was a sub. <laughs> it was kind of like a stray given to Jada. So it could be Jada as well. So I don't know. But then at the same time, it could be just yeah, it's a lot of names out there. Time. Uh it's Cash Doll, Asian Doll. It's a lot of people out there, girl. It's so much beef in these streets, child. Yeah. Um, these blogs get paid a lot. Y'all talk shit be broke oh, ass. That's what I was saying. Could have been Kelsey. Could be Kelsey as well. Yep. I'm way too fucking cocky to take him back if he cheating. I can't let none of you raggedy bitches think y'all my equal. So that might have been to uh a party's new girl as well. I don't give a fuck who think what you niggas is typing for nothing on the internet, typing the shit to me. Write him a letter. I swear. <laughs> what? Baby, I just licked my teeth at the end of that girl. But she just finished it off, girl. <laughs> Went write him a letter. I saw, girl, period. Honey. Oh, now that now that could have been uh wait, wait, wait. Go back to it. Go back to it. Cause I because it just hit me. Go back to what? Do you remember? Where? Whether uh write him a letter or something. I want I want you to read uh-huh. that for me. I don't give a I don't give a F who think what you niggas is typing or nothing on the internet typing the shit to me, write him a letter or something. Now the only thing is, is that all for some reason this popped in my head. You remember some time back, thank you, Erica, with Iggy Azalea. It was re- it was released that Iggy Azalea had wrote yes. a letter mm-hmm. trying to get him released in support in, in support of his <laughs> in release. Support and basically was trying to Megan is a lie. Da, 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 you know that whole thing going on. So it could she could be doing Iggy and also she Red. could. Yep, this could have been a dig to Iggy and it was clearly a dig also to the fans because they always yeah. accusing her of yeah. putting him behind bars. You lying yeah. bitch. Blah blah blah. So Iggy and the and and and, and the ball heads took oh, you know. Yeah. And, and Mario and Mario and St- uh Stefan Don. Yep. Come on, Elite Leo. There we go. See, all, all the conscious crew members got um a degree in nosiology, girl. Okay, so they be knowing everybody's business to a damn tie. Okay, now let's get back to this Megan's Law situation here. There it is. Now, this was the kryptonite in question girl that peeled the layers back of Nicki Minaj's edges girl sent her into a state of psychosis possibly in back into rehab it's been alleged girl Megan's law do you want to explain to the people if you know reckless what Megan's law actually is Yes, Megan's law is a law that came about because of a little of a person. <laughs> I want to be careful with my words, girl. Of a minor, she ended up losing her life because of a sex offender. Um, and so this is the reason why now sex offenders have to register as sex offenders, and that information is public, so everybody else. That surrounding or in those neighborhoods are aware who's who, what's what, and also have an indication of okay, 
I know this person got out. They're doing it. They, they done did their time. They may be reformed. By the same time, I need to make sure I keep my antennas up and make sure that I'm aware and know who may be around my children and know and also know who may be around me. So yes, the, that's what Megan's law is. Something and, that and Jennifer, himself. something that Jennifer Hugh would know all about, as her lawsuit claims that this was the reason why Kenneth Petty and his wife were trying to bribe, coerce, intimidate, and blackmail her into recanting her allegations to Mr. To Mr. Petty so that he could, in fact, be lifted from the sex offender registry, which he has to be on wherever they live in this interesting country. We also know uh, that there was a petition that was created by some members of the Petty's actual community where they were petitioning their asses to move the fuck out of the neighborhood because they were bringing down the goddamn property taxes. They were bringing down the damn property value of the community. And uh, girl, Elite Leo is taking the words out my mouth. Elite Leo said Megan's Law. Her husband, brother, her alter ego, Roman, girl, get together. And don't leave out Takashi 69 who pled guilty. Who pled get guilty to essaying a minor. And don't in a forget mu- in a music video. Don't forget R. Kelly. <laughs> now, Nikki has in fact responded a lot, girl. She done been on her <laughs> IG page. What? What? I'm telling you something. She responded. A lot. Oh, yes, honey. She's been responding <laughs> all day on the hour by the hour, girl. Okay, oh. she didn't know which way that brain was spinning. Yes. And and also, the person said, thank you. Y'all are really reminding me a lot of stuff. Drake, too. Because he, he had to settle because there was somebody alleging that they had they were sexually assaulted as well. Let me see. I'm so, gonna... so, it was an all-purpose uh, <laughs> verse that could apply she to a few of her ops, honey. It was, a, it, was you, a, it was a wrap around verse, bitch. When I tell you Megan the Stallion wrote that email and put <laughs> send to all, <laughs> send all. But see, a lot of people hey. don't know about the Drake yeah. situation. Yeah. But everybody knows that Onika is married mm-hmm. to a essayer. Well, that's, mm-hmm. but, but, but that's the thing too. That's the gag of it all too, because people are like, oh yeah, they was talking about that, and it was like, oh shit, I ain't know about that. That's, then she talking about Drake. So girl, let's get his was a wraparound ass whipping. Now I want to get into her response because we got a lot to to unpack here. Yeah. Um, because she been responding all up and down the last forty eight hours. Girl, she'd have been on IG live twice. She'd have been over on Station Head, and then she'd been down there to the basement, girl, in that studio trying to configure some gooey, luchy, Prada, Prada, Louis, Gucci lyrics together, girl, to get at Miss Mag, honey. She got to get her leg back, bitch, okay? Courtesy of a Hindu, what is this? Um, HinduStanTimes.com. Nicki Minaj blasts Megan Thee Stallion claims, quote, she told me to drink and go to the clinic if... Okay, hold on. Let me get into the headline. The simmering feud between Nicki and Megan Thee Stallion has reached a boiling point with the release of Megan's new track, His. In the latest addition to her musical discography, the track, now famous for being a diss track without a chorus, releases a barrage of verbal fire. It appears to be directed straight at her rival, likely referencing a year-old feud. However, it seems Nicki is not taking things lightly. During the station head listening party, the singer criticized her younger rival for her new track and blasted her for bringing some 30-year-old tea, leaving fans divided. Quote, how many dicks of abusers have you knowingly bringing up 30-year-old tea from when a man was 15 being lied on is not the flex you think it is, said the Pink Friday singer during Station Head. The rapper was potentially referring to the recent lyrics where the 28-year-old just started online after dropping her bombshell song. Nikki continues, quote, constantly mentioning a man who isn't an artist, isn't on social media. It just shows me you have nothing like your flows. You are still learning how to rap, and that's the truth. 
Later, Nikki took her social media handle and posted a cryptic note. She said, quote, y'all want to bring up family members? Y'all want to bring up family members? And lying on your dead mother. Your dead mother. Lied to Gail. Lied on your fucking best friend's man. You taught me to go drink and go to the clinic if I was pregnant. It appears. I had to get out. Had to get all that out. That the rapper has ignited a fan war on social media with her involvement in the his dish drama. A user wrote, quote, it's not 30-year-old T, it's real public information that is available thanks to Megan's law, which prevents your husband from taking your son to school for his entire life. And your best comeback is Bigfoot, Goodfoot, other show. Oh my God. Girl, them Louis Gucci Prada Prada Louis Gucci's. Quote. Another uh, another user wrote, Nikki throwing all this shade as if she's not literally married to a predator is laughable. Calling the R-A-P-E of a girl, 30-year-old T, is very disgusting and insensitive. Someone of her status should not be talking like this. Megan Thee Stallion makes one diss, and then they have pictures of... um. Uh, what's my guy from Family Guy? The, the dad from Family Guy, Peter from the Griffin. show The Family Guy. Who? Peter Griffin. They have pictures of Peter Griffin in a stray jacket referencing Nicki Minaj after this dish record. There's a lot. Uh, Minaj. Megan Thee Stallion's new song, His Takes an Aim at Nicki Minaj, you two verses, da, 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 da. So, baby, okay, so it's going all the way down. Now, I was not, I was able to catch a little bit of Nicki's Instagram Live, you guys. And I want you guys to take a listen to this. Okay, this was uh, one third of Onika's live stream. Here it is, okay? Are you ready for this? Reckless. You bring up 30-year-old T because no man has ever and will ever fucking love you. And lying on your dead mother. On oh, your dead mama. On oh, your dead mama. Lying on a dead mama. Lying on a dead mama. Lying on a dead mama. Lying on your... I said lying on a... I said she read she done lie. She lied and she cried and she lied and she cried. She said she lied and she cried and she lied and she cried. And then she lied and she cried and she lied and she cried. Cause she got blinds all up up her stupid doofy self ass. And I said no way. I don't give up. Fuck for the rip up. Jump <laughs> and then she tried to grab it up with her. Lied on your dead mama. 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 Mama, mama, lied on your dead mama. Lied on your dead mama. Mama, mama. Yeah, she's losing it. Wow. But you will not disrespect Papa Bear, you dirty <laughs> fucking ran through third ass, bum ass bitch. Broke bitch. You broke bitch. Woo, Tell the yeah. truth, bitch. Y'all want it, Roman? Nah, I don't want a dead mama. I don't want a dead mama. Right after the funeral, they put you on a dead mama. I said, lie, I don't want a dead mama. You stupid hoe. What you did to Kelsey was disgusting. What you put that woman to, through. I you know good. A black friend. A young black woman. Let her be bullied nonstop. Went on. Oh shit! Hold on, y'all. I done fucked up. No, that's right. So why are you gonna get that together? Let me get this. Hold on, hold on. I want to let play because it's hard for me to rewind. Ding, ding. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Huh? Uh huh. Thinking I care. I wish one of you bitches I dare. Do it right now, bitch. I swear. I wish, bitch. I wish a bitch would now. A boom, boom, boom. Pink Friday 2 is platinum, y'all. I love you. Thank you so much. Super freaky girl is trip for platinum. Fuck the club up. It's gold up in a month. Everybody featuring Uzi is gold. Uh, don't lie on your mama's soul. Ooh, ooh, bitch, 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 lying on her mama's soul. On her mama's soul. On her dead mama's soul. Ooh. 
Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's you it. Howling to the moon, you girl. Somebody <laughs> fucking my mom's family? Because you will get blocked right now. Sweetheart, I don't give a fuck who you Megan are. Megan, turn her motherfucking ass into a werewolf tonight, bitch. <laughs> fuck you talking. Woo! Fuck y'all bitches, stupid ass, always talking about. God no, you damn. Got my dick, bitch. Talk about a hit dog, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, ain't sliding this year, bitch. Ain't sliding, cause y'all think all that other shit that was sliding is gonna slide now. And it's, it's certain things I know, I don't think y'all want me to say it. And I'm not only talking about Bigfoot. It's certain <laughs> things I know y'all don't want me to say. It's a, what, t- yo, I need, can y'all pull up the party? Where that party song at? so... <laughs> Yeah, I post the party song, shit. Mm, 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 mm. Woo! See that? 104,000. More than you can sell in the first week with three Grammys. You see that? That's what happened when you what? Lie on your dead mama. I lie on your dead mama. 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 Nah. Talk about my family. What I said. <laughs> now, bitch, you're gonna learn this year. And all you bitches, I dare you, bitches. I dare any of you, bitches. And any of you, niggas. You don't have to dare. They did. They uh, did, uh, sis. Uh, it's not a dare. The dare has already been completed. But, I mean, Roman, you know, I'm here, but Roman, like... You're talking right, after you've been shot first. up, girl. Yeah, like, it's, the here. event has already came to pass. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> I told you. I got so much to say about this. What? It's almost to the end. My child, <laughs> Louis Gucci Potter Potter Louis Gucci Cheese. Well, the black women activists. Louis Gucci Prada girl. She on her girl. She on her Carly Red Tees. Who's going to protect her own? Stevie J when you need him, honey. Stevie. Yeah. You are a disgusting serpent. Serpent, thou art loose. Baby going full on prophetess girl. She in her Kim Burrell bag right now. And for all my supporters that's on this live, I wish you... Call that spirit out, Onika. Call that spirit up out of me. I wish you prosperity this year. I really do. Because you know what? You You guys deserve it. You do. You do. You do. But you know what? Man, you my first man, mistake man, is man. thinking that you were dealing with Nikki. Your Nikki is gone, bitch. <laughs> so. If that Rock Nation brunch got you feeling like you could talk about my family, and I have a three-year-old innocent child, have had my home swatted twice with with guns drawn. Okay, we're going to put a pause in it right there, girl. Baby, Nikki was throwing everything she could at the window to the wall, bitch. Because she, girl, Nikki took such an L. That bitch had inserted her own child. <laughs> she inserted her own. She inserted her own baby girl. I mean, that bitch needed all of the. She needed all the empathy. She needed all of the powers, all the forces from any direction, baby. That studio session was not cutting it with that damn 1997 um New World Order ass instrumental in the background, girl. Y'all saw what the freestyle was giving. <laughs> Nikki didn't know whether it was the Illuminati at work, girl. The machines, this bitch working a Caribbean voodoo all ass, girl. I mean, just ballistic. Okay, what do you think about the Louis Gucci product of it all? Okay, Lord Jesus. Woo! Pray, pray, pray. For one, 
I'm, I'm about to hold my head like this. For <laughs> <laughs> one, Jesus, be the offense. This, this is the reason why I just can't do with Nicki Minaj. Like, and I remember calling you on the phone. Well, you calling me, but we ended up talking. And I remember saying I'm having the same reaction that you had in terms of Cat Williams. Is that a lot of things that Cat Williams was saying? It was a lot of hypocrisies. Just it was like so clear to you to everybody else it wasn't it was clear to you the hypocrisies that's what's going on with Nicki Minaj like girl how you gonna talk about somebody quote unquote dead mama when your father literally is up in heaven or hell right now currently girl if you believe in heaven and hell like how, you can't talk about dead relatives when your relative has just passed away recently like it's 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 the gag of it all. Now Megan would be wrong if she had some type of video footage, any type of diss track with your father on it. Like it's like you opened the door. Now, could the thing about it? Let's be very clear. A lot of times, my issue with Nikki is that she does a lot of shit to people, but then when someone gives her the same energy back, all of a sudden it goes to a lot of corporate corporate giants are attacking me. A lot of corporate giants are after me. All the girls are trying to get me up out of here. But it's been months of Megan not saying a word. I'm not talking about when she was subbing you back. I'm talking about when she really wasn't saying anything. She was out of the public media's eye. You kept dissing her. You kept subbing her. You kept calling her name. You kept knocking on her door. And all of a sudden, when she knocked back on your motherfucking door, all of a sudden, you want to spiral out of control. The same thing has always happened. You always knock on everybody's door. But then when someone actually come to that motherfucker. Then she want to become a Karen. She want to become a Karen Minaj. All of a sudden, you Karen Minaj. Minaj. Oh, <laughs> Oh no, it's 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 it's, it's uh Atlantic Rec. Oh no, it's this it's Clyde, it's Clyde Davis, girl. And then what gets me as well is that it's the popcorn, the kettle black. How dare you literally come out your mouth to literally talk about how corporate giants are coming against you and woe is me, I'm in trouble. Oh lord, but then at the same breath, let's not forget, let's go into a motherfucking time machine, let's go all the way back from the beginning of your start in the mainstream media let's not forget weren't you one of the ones the pioneers to try to take a uh, little kim up out of here and let's not forget at the time little wayne and birdman were giants so how can you talk about a machine that you was once a, a conductor and an engineer on <laughs> and you were also a mechanic working on the motherfucker and that's how the fuck you got ushered in let's not forget you and little Kim have a song together, and we already know how that story went out. So it's like it's it's like the it's like the hypocrisy that points, and it's like so in my face. It's like how can you literally say that? And then let's I don't know if I don't even give a fuck if we even get to this shit or not. What also got me too is when she's literally said lying lipo about Megan Thee Stallion. Let's not forget. Let's just say she was lying about her lipo. But Meg, uh, Nikki, I need for you to understand this, baby girl. Girl, you're the same woman who was li who literally was in the slums of New York and got a ass shots. You and lied about them for the first few years she had them. Right, and you lied about it. Like, girl, you're you're so delusional. It's like, have you not have? You she finally came out and admitted in the Big Sean uh feature that the fake ass that she denied having could finally move. It wasn't stiff enough, but Meek Mill already told us the ass had dropped on two different occasions and had to be um hydro hydro fucking uh hydroplane upward girl, girl because right. the ass kept it kept pampering. Right, like your ass had dropped. Let's not forget. Meek Mill has said it. Remy Ma has 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 admitted to it as well in her diss track, and it's like a lot of these hypocrisies. Everything that she literally has said, she has done. That's the reason why I can't even get into her music all the time because even when she say these bitches are my sons, they stealing my shit. When bitch, you was over there stealing little Kim shit. There are verses. As in lyrics, there are flows. Even to this day, Nick Minaj just uses Little Kim's flows. And before, I was like, girl, some of this, you know, Nick Minaj came up with, until I heard it for myself, I was like, this motherfucker is still using Little Kim's shit. Her looks, 
even to this day, she's still using Little Kim's looks. You are the carbon copy. You are the iPhone 2. It's like the iPhone 2 looking at the iPhone 7 saying, I'm the original. You can never be the original because guess what? There was somebody before you. And the issue that I take with the delusional barbs, the delusional ones, not the people that just fans are, but the delusional ones is that they will literally be on a platform and st stand on a foundation saying things along the lines of, you know, when it comes down to Nicki Minaj, she gave little Kim her 10. She gave for little Kim her ones. She gave little Kim her respect. But then are the same ones literally getting upset about Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Doja Cat doing the exact same thing that Nicki Minaj did to little Kim. Well, she gave her her 10s at the same time, disrespect her. So you want to say, yeah, there was, you know, little Kim is the greatest until I got here. You don't disrespect your idols, especially if they're really your idols. But then you complain about the new girls coming in. And I quote, I believe she was on Queen Radio coaching these new bitches to come and disrespect you. So I'm like, girl, what? When you came in the industry disrespecting your idol. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander. If the car can go forward, it can go backwards. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I yield the floor for right now. I, all I got to say, baby, is I Karen Minaj girl lost always loses her shit, girl. She always calls these girls to the penmanship, and then when they pin her down, girl, it becomes all her accolades and 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 her streaming sales and international plaques and everything else, baby. Nah, man, when Lil Kim was out here. On the microphone, Miss Nikki, you told Kim to keep it on wax, bitch. I don't, we don't want no live streams. We don't need you down there to the basement. We don't need you down there to uh to to Adam Twenty Two and to Joe Button and and sitting down with Biden and giving us an exclusive girl. I want you to keep it on absolute wax, baby. Okay, I want you to apply that same. Fucking energy, keep that same energy, Onika. Yeah, Don't bitch up now, girl. Because let me tell you, cousin, let me tell you something. I don't give a damn what Nicki Minaj ass say in return. Megan won simply because she drew blood out of this bitch and had her off, off, off the out of the studio into the social media's arena. Windmilling and and and, and copping plea deals, girl. Nicki Minaj out here trying to fight her case in the court of public opinion, girl. This is a rap beef, bitch. You've been crying for this woman. You've been dragging this woman. You've been in your window in this damn woman. This woman want all the motherfucking smoke, baby. And all you got is Louis Gucci Prada, big foot, good foot off your foot. Like my thing, my thing is this as well because I'm. Some you say it reminded me to, to go back to this. Like, well, this is the big giant point. She's also the same person that likes to use racially charged talking points to trigger up the MK Ultra of all the fake woke people. And what I mean by that is when she says a black woman, for one, with that certain tone. I used to work in marketing. The certain tone that you use, bye, Scotty. With a certain tone that you use when you stretch things out. Oh, for when, when it, anytime something's really breathy, that's an attempt to make it empathetic. That's an attempt to apply emphasis on something. And also when you use certain tone, it can trigger up a different subconscious, subconscious thought process or moment or moment or idea in someone's head. I used to do... Well, one of the jobs I used to do is door-to-door -door sales. That's a really good thing if you really try to get into some marketing and knowing how to say things and move. and So I clock it all the time because some of the tactics, guess what? I used to do it myself. And so the thing that got me with Nicki Minaj as well, black woman, ah, once again, let's roll it all the way back. Aren't you the same person that literally disrespected another black woman who was attempting to try to hold your your sex offender husband accountable 
Aren't you the same black woman that literally disrespected the victims of your said brother? Like, miss me with the whole thing about you being black because let's also call a spade a spade. People always talk about quote unquote being black, but yet all most of Nicki Minaj's points, her 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 lashings against Megan Thee Stallion has always been anti-black, rooted in anti-blackness. So don't come to the table talking about black women bliss, black women that, but yet you're still using the same system of anti-blackness, a.k.a. colorism, a.k.a. the same system that's used against your black ass, which is the reason why you probably got some surgery in different places. Use that against your opponent and then have the nerve to say, Black women? Girl, what? How, how the fuck you gonna talk about somebody feet being big? Girl, do you not know that, that those are white supremacist talking points? You do know that, right? Girl, by a Megan's, a Megan's feet are just as big as that goddamn botch Dr. Miami ass booty she got on okay? Castle so Meg's ass, Meg's foot size, and that big old man made social construct of an ass are, are, are both the same in circumferences. But another thing I was gonna say as well, in terms of Nicki Minaj and when she goes after people, like th my thing is this: I will I will be able to give Nicki Minaj her tens when she's right. When you right, you right. But then a lot of times, too, it's like she literally spits out the same thing that she has done. Like, you have stole from people. You have copied other people's style. You have took someone's swag. But then you get mad when the cycle continues and you, you're now you're the victim of said system that you have participated in, a.k.a. You're stealing my shit. Bitches are my sons. When, bitch, to be completely honest, if they're your sons, then, bitch, you're a son of somebody else, a.k.a. Little Kim. So, girl, you continue. We're going to get into it. Yeah, she, she, she irks my spirit when she does that. There's a reason I can't fully get into her music. Even when she starts rapping, I'll be like, girl. Now, nah, girl. Now, do you want to explain of what we're about to hear? Because this is what you sent me. Oh, girl, this bitch, this is the shit I be. Uh, when this is when I knew personally that Nikki was running out of ammo. <laughs> when she was literally telling Megan to catch the beat and ba 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 da da ba da ba da ba da. One thing we can't like a lot of things we can say about Megan, but catching a beat is not one of them. Now that could probably be uh be applied to someone like Sweetie, someone like. Shit, Cardi, the City Girls, etc., etc. But you can't say that about Megan, because what we're gonna see right now, also <laughs> in addition to that, uh, read the caption. Let me see. I don't have my phone next. Read the caption. Openly admitting that you can't freestyle, but want to accuse Megan the stallion of not being able to find the beat. Let's listen to Onika's commentary. Um, yes, I don't spit that at the top of my head. I can't come up with those punchlines and metaphors at the top of my head. And and everybody else besides besides KRS One, who, who else could you name that that freestyle at the top of his head? Maybe it would be the bitch named Tina Snow. Now she answered Nicki Minaj's question. Let's just listen to Nicki Minaj one more time. Um, yes, I don't spit that at the top of my head. I can't come up with those punchlines and metaphors at the top of my head. And and everybody else besides besides KRS One, who, who else could you name that that freestyle at the top of his head? 
Tina fucking Snow. And then, in addition, the more I see certain comments, it's triggering us up something else I want to say. And then another contradiction is that first you said you talk you you trash TikTok. Then on top of that, you trash people who can't rap. Then 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 you talked about rapping and the culture and how corrupted it is. But then you join TikTok. Then then not only that. You tell people to stick to TikTok and they dancing, but then all of a sudden you come out with songs that's TikTok-ish and you want people to have challenges and stuff. Like fuck the club up on my tippies. That's how that's how I heard the song through TikTok and the challenge. And then not only that, girl, you collab with people who embody everything that you said that you don't f with, aka six nine. What happened to the no snitch culture? Last time I checked, what happened when it comes down to the rapping abilities and the culture when you link up with people that may not be considered respected in the in the rap game, like Cole Ray. Now she doesn't have bad music, but let's be quite clear: people don't respect her as a rapper for real, for real. Uh, Ice Spice, and then your personal favorite, Conscious TV, Sexy Red. Girl, bye. <laughs> They're like, like. That's that's the contradictions that stick out to me when she st- begins to speak. Cause I'll be like, girl. Oh, hold huh? on. Now speaking of that, when I found out that she had graced a sexy red track, I knew I I already know that Onika is full of shit. But she literally, I'm talking about lost all her credibility. Like she threw everything she ever said in defense of herself. And her metric system when it comes to the game and, and, and how she measures these girls up. Because how the fuck you gonna call Cardi out for payola and being a non-rapping, rapping ass bitch and then you go and remix a, a, a song with one of the most non rapping ass, non-freestyling ass, ski as female rap, I'm talking about sexy red girl is the damn vanilla ice a female rap girl. And even that's an insult to vanilla ice. When sexy red even has features on her songs, literally her shit sounds like it was made on a cassette tape. Everybody else featured on the track sound like they did they shit in a quality studio. The production is not even there. Yet alone, the lyrical content thereof. Girl, you can't say shit to me. I don't want to see her ass on another American Idol, bitch. Now I know why Mariah gave your ass all that smoke, girl, because she knew right then and there that you was a, that you was uh, uh, ready and willing to allow a sexy red level of talent, girl, to make it past the finish line. Now I understand, girl, why Miss Carrie was giving you all that work, girl, on season 1300 of the damn American Idol or whatever the hell it was, girl. Because it let you, let you, girl, let you decide on it, bitch. Sexy Red would have been America's damn idol, girl. Look, even Bernicia says, I can't even defend this carry-on, girl. Okay, even the barbs, even the barbs can't, girl, they can't even. <laughs> they can't even come up for air, girl. They just got to take the licking, baby. Indisputable. Indisputable. Now let's transition right a little bit here. Because I want to, because let's give Onika something. You know, this ain't an Onika hate train. You know, we do stick to the facts of the facts of the facts, baby. Okay. Well, let's do a little something here. Now, Nicki Minaj's biggest claim to her irritation with Megan allegedly has to do with Megan trying to encourage her to drink alcohol while she was pregnant with Papa Bell. And that she had also went online following their stream together or their time together and was making comments that insinuated that Nikki wasn't taking alcohol, which Onika felt was very disrespectful and slanderous because she didn't want nobody thinking that she was taking yak straight to the back 
while she was pregnant. Very understandable. She also made another interesting allegation on Station Head today that Megan was um had the eye of the tiger on Kenneth ass, that she was eyeballing her nigga. Now, considering that Megan done alleged that Megan likes non GED dick, I can believe Onika girl, okay, because Megan know where the good dick at, baby, okay. And um, I'm Kenneth Petty is another one, girl. Okay, he is low vibrational enough to have the best dick because the universe tends to recalibrate. You know, when a person lacks in one area, they tend to gain in another area. That's the balance, the full circleness of the damn universe, right? But reckless, as much as I like Megan. I think she's gorgeous. I think she's incredibly talented. And she is clearly giving Onika Minaj a run for her rapturous motherfucking money. And if you let me tell it, she's going to be around for a very, very, very long time. However, there is something seemingly surrounding Megan. I don't know what it is, but all these issues with her also, her inability to maintain friendships, whether it be to her hairstylist who testified on her behalf during trial, whether it be Kelsey, her college girlfriend and personal assistant, whether it be her hot girl fling and friendship with Tory Lanez that came down crashing and burning epically, whether it be the now disastrous outcome between her and party, the fact that, remember when Rihanna had allegedly unfollowed her and dropped her from Fenty, et cetera, and there was all these rumors that she might have possibly laid it low and spread it wide with Rocky, with ASAP Rocky, who is the love of big forehead Rihanna's life. Shout out to them and their heads. There is something. The fact that when Megan went through her crisis of being shot, that she didn't even benefit from the protect black woman era like a lot of women were able to. In fact, the industry was dead ass quiet, which was very weird. Nobody came to her aid. Nobody notable. Oprah, Yonce, who she, she signed to Beyonce. I mean, she, you know, she signed to Beyonce's label. You know, she signed to the Carter. She signed to Rock Nation. Rihanna, who, you know, hired her as a brand ambassador. For I mean, this is bizarre. Nobody really came to Megan's aid. And the big question is, why? Now, I will say that I think that in Megan and Nikki's case, it was probably just two negatives canceling each, each other the fuck out. Because we know that Nikki got the same problem. She can't keep no fucking friends. She sneak dissing Beyonce still to this damn day. And her husband, etc. Who recently, uh, it was argued that Nikki made some innuendo statements about him because he had picked up another female rapper, which was Doja Cat, who you guys know Nikki has attention with right now because of the whole Pink Friday 2 reverse cowgirl song that allegedly Doja Cat was supposed to submit her verse for. She did, but then she pulled out at the last minute, and then there was all the speculation that it was, you know, her getting her lit. Baby, just a lot. So what do you think this is with Megan? Megan is obviously not perfect Patty. And I will refuse to believe such. I don't know what what is. I can't really put my finger on it or what it is exactly. But what I will say is that yeah, she's not perfect. I'm, I'm not refuting that. I can't. I don't. I don't. I do not know exactly what it is. Um. But yeah, she's not perfect. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a critical thinker and I become even more critical when shit don't make sense. My brain goes into definitely, you know, uh, doing some deep dives and some um, exhibitions. Megan was recently, 
you know, in her own interviews last year, especially closing out the Tory Lanez trial. And she was speaking and saying that she basically came to a lot of realizations about herself, um, that she was using alcohol to a degree to self-medicate. She was dealing with trauma around the loss of her family, etc. She wasn't trusting the right people. She just wasn't on her square, blah, 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 blah. I think Megan was also self-medicating by being a floozy. And I think that Megan using sex as a therapy caused her to probably scribble outside the lines ethically. Yeah. And she probably didn't mind coming on and hooking up with people who belonged to other people. And probably wasn't a girl who was operating on girl code all the time. And because the industry is very small, and it gets even smaller, the more famous you are, the industry becomes even smaller, which means that everybody's business runs to and fro the industry. Everybody knows everybody's team. Everybody was talking about Megan because the industry is like 40% talent, 60% 60% relationship and politicking. So relationships are important. And what you do, it gets around because everybody is talking. Everybody is exchanging information. So if there were violations and Megan was scribbling outside the lines and she was self-medicating also through liquor and alcohol, which she admitted to, and her attitude was flipped. I think between whoever she became when she was drunk and then the flusiness of it all made her possibly a very off-putting person. Even, But her talent was her saving grace. Her talent was her saving grace. But it definitely clear that there's a disconnect between her and everybody else. Now, in the alternative, Nope, I'm not. No, I'm. Go, I'm not going. Nope. I, I, hold on. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna be fair. In the alternative, Megan could be the exception to the rule. The reason why there could be all it can argue to be a bit disconnect is because she's the only bitch who's not kissing ass, and she's not playing the game. And that's putting her on the offense. Because once again, when you get clicks and you get an industry, you get a community, you get gatekeeping, and you get rules of engagement. And when you don't bend to the liking, when you don't bow down and kiss the rings, when you don't treat people according to their egos, but you treat them like everyday motherfucking people, when you ain't impressed and you don't act impressed or when, et cetera, yeah, you can become the enemy. You can become the bad guy. You can be softly moved out of the way. So either Megan is one of the realest bitches in the game, and that's why she getting this treatment from the industry because the industry is fake as fuck, and these hoes want a yes man, and these hoes want people to fluff their egos and to treat them like they the second coming, and Megan doesn't really placate to any of that, and that's why the industry struggles with her. Or she fake as fuck. She's done her fair share of violating. She isn't trustworthy. Maybe because she is a party girl, she is a turn up girl, and people, and she's been invited to parties and spaces and been inebriated and has had to, to be helped and assisted. Or people have seen her in certain compromising positions that they know that her credibility is skewed. 
And so when the details of the shooting happened, which involved alcohol, mm -hmm. a kryptonite to Megan Thee Stallion, Girl. and then this weird situation, a lot of people was like, yeah, no, we can't rush. We can't rush to have her back because we know how Megan is. Mm -hmm. She gets drunk. She Honestly, gets stupid. She gets she petty. She 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 also gets antagonistic and confrontational. She etc. She can be the problem too. And the people who knew that about her, which would be the industry itself that's dealing with her, would be the first ones to not to to side eye everything that was going on because they knew more about her behavior than maybe the general public does, who only yeah. sees her when she's entertaining. But go ahead. I was gonna say it could be a combination of the two. Could be it a combination be. of the two. Yeah, because if you think about every because here's the thing, because from both sides of the spectrum, we can take the whole Diddy situation. For example, y'all follow me, follow me, follow me. Where you have pieces of the industry that are a lot of them are with the fuck shit. Doesn't matter how immoral, doesn't matter how fucked up, it doesn't matter how insidious certain ways of life is. You have a lot of people in the industry who are with the shits. It's quote unquote part of the industry, part of the culture. This is the reason why we have documentaries on the Illuminati Bole, of the sex rituals, the being exploited. So there could be people, a certain percentage of people that Megan have come across where she like, uh-uh, I'm not fucking with that. Or I'm going to play this the way I play it, and it is what it is. But then on the flip side of that, that does, and that's why I keep saying, Megan is not perfect. Mm. And which with her losing a parent, which I have myself. And I and have I as well. The same way, self-medicating through sex. And stuff. Yes, you did, girl. You were sucking up, a lot of dick. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Self-medicating. <laughs> bitch. Uh, she probably did not play, quote-unquote, her hand as safe as she probably should have in terms of the way that she was showing up in these certain spaces. Yes, you're at a college in the party, and yes, you having your fun, but also notice this as well. This is an industry party, which means that networking and people, everybody know everybody. You have to, especially if you're a new artist, you're going to have to dress to impress and your vibes got to be vibing because you don't know who's watching you, who's around you, who's getting in intel details on you. And because like, like, oh, perfect example, Claudia Jordan, like Claudia Jordan said in her interview, all these executives, they travel together. They have parties together. They talk. You don't know who's connected mm -hmm. to them. So while you're over there acting the ass or you're not having a good day and you're not playing your cards right, especially at the time as a new artist, some of those people you may turn off because of, per of a perception. And let's also be clear, a perception is not always the truth. Because a perception is your perception. Because I can look at a nine, at the number nine from one angle and see a nine. But then I can also go to the other side of that number, the I opposite side of that number, and see a six. It's all about your perception. That doesn't mean it's the truth, but that also means it's the way that people may view you. And keep in mind, too, with this being social media and also with people probably viewing something from afar, people don't always double back to get more information. Sometimes that first impression is enough, especially when people got stuff to have have things to lose. And like I said, people know other people. When you're coming, up, when you are going against someone like a Drake, someone like a Nicki Minaj, someone like the baby, Blueface, yada 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 yada. After some time. Whether whether us, whether it's people like me, you, others that may like or dislike these other celebrities or these other individuals, but also keep in mind, every single celebrity is an entity, company, business, which means there is a team 
and a group of mm -hmm. people, a community surrounding and connected to them. And every single person in that group knows somebody that knows somebody that is somebody. And with that being said, things can travel. <laughs> Rumors, the whispers can be heard. So, yes, it could be the combination. Come to find out, your ass was tricking off on the nigga that I was on first. Boom. And then, not only that, you also got the baby. Yeah, I smashed her too. And then now, even though, even though this could have been one a time of her self-medicating, yeah, you took it up to doing the I was on one first. Then allegedly being with the baby, and then allegedly being with Blueface. All these people may know someone. And so I believe it's the combination of the two uh, of the industry does have this this shit, but at the same time. She needs to know how to play her hand right and know how to maneuver and protect herself and her brand. But at the same time, at the same time, that's a lot of times too from what they don't have media training anymore. They don't coach these new uh, artists coming in. This is something that the industry has been saying. So a lot of the stuff is you're going to see that more and more. <laughs> you're going to see that more and more because they haven't been coached and trained in a way to be able to maneuver and knowing how the industry moves. It's 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 the same way as in you start a new job, right? And the job, the orientation lets you know this is your responsibility. <clears throat> this, 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 and this. But then once you get into the job, it's something. There's a difference between wisdom and knowledge. Knowledge is knowing what to do. Wisdom is knowing the most it's the application to do it and the easiest way to do it so you don't overexert yourself. So they give you the they may give you the knowledge, okay. You go to this, 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 you're gonna do this, this is your contract, you sign here, blah 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 blah. But what they don't tell you is the nuance of how to move and who to look out for. And if you're at these industry parties, how should you do this? Be careful for this. That's something that will happen as in. When you go to these spaces, yeah, you're probably going to take a couple of L's. It's kind of wild that the industry does not support and fund artist development, especially in an era now where artist development is more necessary than ever because of the creation of social media. Like these people not knowing how to handle themselves, not knowing how to utilize the internet. This is the time now actually for artist development. But the reason why the industry also does not care to fund artist development is because the industry is so oversaturated with talent that they don't think of artists in the long term anymore. You're not thinking about what you can get the next 10 years you can get out of an artist because artists have become more disposable. They've become more replaceable as the industry becomes oversaturated with those who are ready and willing for lights, camera, and goddamn action. So the investment isn't there. The, the, the long-term attitude isn't there. As it relates to Megan, I like the fact that Megan is seemingly taking her fair share of accountability. She seems to be in an introspective place and realizing that she's had issues that she ain't been dealing with. She got trauma. She is moving around with, and hopefully she's putting her coin into some good, good, deep, much seated therapy, et cetera. Um, and she seems to be in a great place. And once again, she's in her anti-hero era where she wants the fucking smoke. Y'all hoes been tugging on my wig. Y'all wanted the battle. So here's the fucking war. May the best bitch win. With that being said, Nicki Minaj, what, what, where should Nicki Minaj go from here, Reckless? Shut the fuck up. Like, th that's what she needs to do. Shut the flying fuck up. Because the, th the reason why we're even here is that, guess what? Nicki Minaj is mad that Megan worked with Cardi. That's the reason why we're here in terms of Megan Thee Stallion 
and Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj needs to shut the fuck up because I think it was a long time when none of the girls were even mentioning her, subbing her, etc. Let it go, please. <laughs> Let it go. Because once again, it goes that it goes back to that mind fuck and trying to flip shit left and right. Because you keep knocking on their door. And then when they continue to ignore you, but then like a cup, when you pour water or liquid inside of it, eventually it overflows. <laughs> and so you're not going to keep fucking with somebody. Then be shocked and spooked and nervous, surprised. And in the words of Santana, now you're in distress. When they finally fire your back, lyrically or physically. And then this is the thing that gets me with her too. Is that she wants to quote unquote swing on people lyrically. Say you're the best and ba 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 ba. And then when you got Doja Cat trolling the shit out you, Megan Thee Stallion's finally back back on your neck, Cardi B on your ass, Lotto be on your ass here and there, then you're so shocked all these corporate giants are against me. That's like me going to swing on every bitch in the room. Bitch, 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 and then expect that... All four of them not going to come and try to beat my ass. And blaming uh, a white supremacy. Like a motherfucker. And the fact that if people even believe it, you a dummy just like her ass. So two things can be extracted from Nikki's response, which to me is... well. First, I, don't think, I don't know if I ever got to finish saying it, but what I was saying earlier is I don't care what the fuck Onika says in return. Megan washed and rinsed Nicki Minaj ass. Not only because she hit that bitch where she knew it was absolutely going to hurt, but she gathered her and all of the Boulay girls into one bandwagon and not only slaughtered their asses down to the ground, but she did it also with an epic visual just to put the extra stank and spit shine on the end of that of that damn period. Onika was not expecting this level of production. She didn't even see this coming. I really believe that Onika thought that Megan was a, a pussy asshole because Megan re reminds me of me. Like she's an Aquarius woman, but she responds on her time, not on your time, bitch. So she may have a delayed reaction, bitch. Okay. She might finally turn around and address some shit nine months later after the fact, baby, when she good and goddamn ready. But the fact that like, this whole project and this was so calculated, it literally gives me chills because she knew the whole time, girl, that she was coming to take over Russia, girl, that she was coming, I mean, that she was coming to take over Ukraine, girl. And she had been funding this project, doing this visual, et cetera, girl. Onika was not ready, not only for the track, but the visual to match. And both of them were equally iconic and epic as fuck. Onika literally lost her Percocet bottle, girl, as she was running down the basement staircase to get into that makeshift studio, girl, to put together an 808 real quick, girl. She can't even figure out enough shit to pin the paper with, which is why she got to be online, girl, trying to invoke the spirit. Of all them damn demons that's responsible for her damn for her damn career to begin with, girl. Now she back summoning a uh, Roman ass girl. Now she need her more than ever, girl. Okay. I mean, I have never seen Nicki Minaj this fucking shook. I'm talking about wig off ball head through the streets, bitch. I'm talking about Smokey from Friday after Angel Dust Girl in a chicken coop all night, girl. I'm talking about girl wig off in the streets, baby. 
Nikki lost her mind. That bitch didn't know she was she, whether she was out of her head, wanted to be on station head, whether she needed to be on Instagram, girl. That bitch went live on all several apps at the same time, girl. That bitch was in that studio, girl. Couldn't even conjure up a damn comeback because she was so rattled emotionally, girl. She had to come on here and talk to her fans who can fluff her ego up after Megan Thee Stallion just KO'd and gave her that damn ego death, girl. She put her and her damn husband on the cross, bitch. There is nothing that Onika is going to be able to say in return because what, how Megan won was in getting that bitch out of her body. Megan caused Onika ass to crash the fuck out in the most epic of fucking ways for 2024. And Onika still ain't caught it, girl. She's having a delayed reaction right now, girl. She still thinks she's in a body. She's now in the spirit world, girl. You are now Casper Minaj. She doesn't even know, girl, that her funeral has came and gone. Who was on that live, girl, was a spirit. The body is already being prepared at the morgue, girl. She is no more. Onika had to take out a pack of damn Newports, bitch, and just sit outside the studio on her goddamn love sofa, bitch, and talk to the barbs. And then that bitch wanted her head so bad, but did not have any foundation to stand on that she start having to accuse the damn woman of shit she ain't even do. My child, my child, my house, my house been swatted. All shit that Megan Thee Stallion ain't got a damn thing to do with. I mean, caused... Megan Thee Stallion turned Nicki Minaj into Azalea Banks tonight, bitch. It is Nicki Banks tonight, girl. The voodoo was fucking voodooing. The only way Nicki could win... The only way, girl, is that she would have to she would have to do something that would cause Megan to come out of her body. There ain't enough ABC one two three gooey Lucci Prada Prada Louis Gucci three girl. There's not enough Bigfoot good foot on your foot. There ain't enough of a damn uh 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 AI ass instrumental girl. Megan won because she caused that bitch a mental meltdown and a very public one. Even her fans are embarrassed for her. Did you, could you hear it? Megan had that bitch on Instagram tonight, Reckless, howling at the goddamn moon. The motherfucking moon, how do we need, do we need, do we need to listen to God? Nah, she cry, cause she got blinds all up up her stupid doofy self ass every press. I said no well, I don't give up for the rip up the top two. And then she tried to rap double time, lie on your dead mama, 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 lie on your dead mama, lie on your dead mama, ma. But you will not disrespect Papa. Megan Thee Stallion had Nicki Minaj trying to freestyle to a 106 in part instrumental girl. Nicki Minaj thought this was the year 2000 girl. That beat is given very much so TRL Carlin, uh, a uh, uh, Carson Daly girl. That bitch thought she was on 106 in part, girl, with AJ and Free, honey. Yeah, you dirty fucking ran through bitch ass bitch. Yeah, you dirty fucking ran through bitch ass bum ass bitch. You broke bitch. Do you hear, girl? Do you, girl, do you know how you. Megan had Nikki so pressed tonight. 
Nikki was talking perfect English. Did you hear the diction, the enunciation? Did you hear the vowels put on the in a bitch? Did you hear the T and the, the CTH? The bitch. Did you hear those? Did you hear reckless? Those hard bitches. Girl, Maggie Bigfoot was on that big ass neck, baby. See, it takes a big foot for a big ego, bitch. And God in heaven knew that there was only one bitch who had the proper size foot for that fucking neck, baby. And Megan was employed to enter the goddamn chat. Because no man has ever and will ever fucking love you. And lying on your dead mother, on your dead mama, on your dead, you know, lied on a dead mama, lied on a dead mama, lied on a dead mama, lied on your, I said, lied on a, a sexy red, she done lied, she lied and she cried and she lied and she cried, she said she lied and she cried and she lied and she cried, and then she lied and she cried and she lied and she cried, cause she got blinds all up up her stupid doofy self ass, every girl's I said no will, I don't give up, fuck for the big brother, jump to and then she tried to wow. read the whole time. Lied on your dead mama. Wow. Lied on your dead mama. 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 Mama, mama, lied on your dead mama. Lied on your dead mama. Mama. Girl, this y'all queen of rap. Girl. I don't know why people are shocked though. This is the Nicki Minaj tongue didn't even know how to work anymore, girl. I don't know everything, I wanna... everything started to glitch up, girl. But I don't know everything, that... everything in Nikki needed a damn doctor's appointment, girl. I still don't know why you guys are shocked. This is the person she's been. Like, this is just the person that she's been. Like, I don't know why people are shocked. Oh my gosh, she, oh my gosh, she talked about her dead mother. Like, I'm not shocked. I just accept her for who the fuck she is. Y'all, a lot of people be like, I guess they try to put on this fairy tale image of Nikki, but I'm not shocked at all. I'm not shocked that she went after uh, Megan's deceased mother. I'm not shocked that she's talked about her abuse, even though Nicki Minaj has been alleged that Nicki Minaj was abused by McMill. <laughs> so I was like, what the, the hypocrisy again? You're talking about someone's abuse when it's been alleged that you were abused. You were spit on and you were pushed outside of a house, of your house, a.k.a. McMill. This y'all queen of rap, girl. You could drop the link if you need. Percocet, to Percocet Minaj oh, got eight. Yeah. Got Percocet Minaj got eight the fuck <laughs> up tonight. <laughs> I'm talking. Megan ate the bone, bitch. Bone apple teat, girl. And that's the thing. Right that now, Nicki Minaj is in her California sun bed, figuring out. Which TikTokers and YouTubers she's she's about to commit and add a digital ass whipping to like she did the year before, baby. The way that bitch is lining up the emotional dumpsters right now, so she can transfer all that hell into baby because the internet about to pay, bitch. The internet is a girl. The way that Megan done set the rest of us up, girl, <laughs> to be attacked, bitch. The, she talking about having your house wadded, girl. Megan just swatted, girl. Your damn vocals, bitch. She just swatted your damn brain, bitch. Minaj is shook that nobody whistle blew to her, girl. Nobody in the industry loved her enough to told her, girl, that Megan was coming, girl. That that bitch just wrapped up a, a, a three-day shoot, bitch. And Calabasca, girl, just three weeks ago, Lonnie. That that bitch shedding most skin, girl. Nobody told her the cobra was coming, bitch. 
Okay, nobody had had, had beeped her page her, had called her walking talking bitch. Azalea Banks ain't said shit. <laughs> they just left her out here butt ass naked with this damn BBL like this girl. Especially when uh last time she believed that what B, I, bitch I'm about to say what BBL what Azalea Banks said talking about Cardi was gonna put Santeria on <laughs> booty one. <laughs> She believed said she believed Azalea Banks last time and looked a fool. Megan the style I'm, yet. I'm sorry, and that's another thing too that gets me. Nikki be talking all that shit. All that shit. But then when it came down to Cardi, who's about like five, six, three, four, whatever how tall she is, you were pasted against that wall. What the fuck you think you're gonna do with Megan the Stallion? What do you believe you're gonna do with Megan the Stallion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We understand about security and all that. Money goes long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, yeah. But same way Cardi was this close from tapping your ass. You never know when that opportunity may present themselves. If the president have been touched, everybody. In America can be touched as well. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know. The way that Megan the Stallion reckless flew down from heaven on top of Onika's motherfucking head, bitch. Onika's damn smoke detector didn't even have enough time to alert her ass, girl. Her damn smoke detector, girl, didn't even go off, bitch. That's how quick, that's how quick death cometh, girl. For her ass in the last 48 hours, girl. You heard her damn glitching up, girl. The goddamn Duracell batteries were fucking melting inside of her goddamn ass. And, oh, and that's another thing, too. Like, the whole Megan's Law, because uh, Mango in the comments just put something I've seen. I want to address. It says, Megan's Law, for a free beat, you can hit Megan Raw. And that's what Nicki Minaj had put on Instagram on, uh, on X, formerly known as Twitter. Once again, it's the hypocrisy, Nicki. Gucci Man said he fucked you. All Girl, fuck, 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 fuck Gucci Man. Um, at least Megan is finding her dick outside of the SA registry. Like, girl. I mean, at least Megan is finding her dick outside of the writerprisoner.com website. But the thing, no, but the thing is that you're saying, but Gucci Bitch, lied. That's you know. met, you met your, you met your broke ass nigga who was living with another bitch at a damn pumpkin festival, bitch. Make it make sense, girl. You met him at a turkey drive. Like, and that, and then on top of that, it's like, girl, everything you said can be used. Again. Girl, you fuck Meek Mill. You don't love yourself. We can at least see what Blueface did for two women. As toxic as he did, as toxic as he is, girl, he at least also, as much as he took from these girls, he also gave them at least a whole career and wealth in return, girl. Kenneth over there sentenced to 125 days on the damn futon. Make it make sense for violating probation and is still in court because he also evaded registering in the damn new community y'all ass live in. Right, and then on top of that, you he better not be, he better not have any proximity to a park or a boys and girls club, a school, an aftercare facility. So it's like you have no foundation to land, like you have no foundation to stand on, and that's the reason why a lot of times I'm not gonna say every single time Nicki Minaj speaks. It like it points. It's it's like this. Yo like, man is this, sentenced this, to this, six this. months. To six months on the pullout bed, girl, because the judge converted his ass from a husband into a damn nanny for the next six months, bitch. You got a nanny down there to the house, girl. Make it make sense. Your man currently has a lawsuit pending 
from the same woman he violated in the 90s and served time for. Nikki lost her shit because Megan finally put her fucking whole card. And only Nikki has herself to blame. She underestimated this one. What she expected was a tired ass Twitter war or she expected Megan to do some type of subliminal Instagram because she was not she was not wrecked. For the four horsemen of the apocalypse girl to come through the eternal sky. Megan came through with a whole visual and a whole smorgage board of facts for y'all asses. And the best part about it is Megan didn't back down out of another, out of a damn thing. That bitch stood in her holding this bitch. I fucked them and you niggas are, you niggas are bitches. For talking like bitches about it. You damn right, bitch. I'll leave a motherfucking little dick ass nigga who can't get this push right in the bedroom. I did it, bitch. And what? And what? Your man has been sentenced to the bottom layer of the mini mansion for the next six months, girl. It was already bad enough he get, he couldn't go within a half a mile radius of a goddamn school. Now he is reduced to being bound to half the circumference of the damn home. Because you wanted him down there fighting to the VMAs, girl. With another bitch. And somebody said it epically. That if um, a Cardi and they said another person was to follow up on Nikki ass. <laughs> Doja, if Doja and motherfucking Cardi girl was about to follow up girl with an old nasty piece, a triple combo, huh, girl, this would be the most epic rap bitch showdown since the little Cam Foxy shit that sent her ass to prison. I think, honestly, I think it also should be somebody that she doesn't expect that she's disrespected. If Megan want to get the ultimate clap back, let me take. She need to feature Jennifer Hugh on that goddamn album. Put Jennifer ass in them damn interludes, bitch. Have Jennifer talking her motherfucking shit in them interludes, bitch. Kim, Remy, all them hoes need to be on this album, girl. Up, up, all the way up. And then call the album Megan's Law, bitch. Drive the knife, metaphorically speaking, all the way into her motherfucking ass, bitch. And then use the proceeds from the album to give back to organizations that serve as a victim. <laughs> Megan the Stallion, bitch. I want my check. I just told your ass, bitch, how your ass can get album of the motherfucking year, bitch. How you can win a GLAAD award, girl. How you can be represented out there, girl. How you can turn into a whole actor, girl. I just told you, girl, how to reclaim your time, bitch. Eat, girl. Eat, girl. You you got big foot, bitch. Now that, now that you out of high and ho, Sasquatch, eat, bitch. Feast on these hoes' bodies, bitch. They wanted you, her like Candyman, bitch. Five times a coming, girl. Finish her. Okay? Do it, honey. Do it for the culture, girl. Because, baby, baby, if, if there's more to come, you know what, girl? <laughs> am I being too, am I, uh, uh, it's, do you, do you think there's more to come, Reckless? Do you think, girl, it is possible that we are about to get the Megan's Law Project, girl? And she about to out all the way up on these hoes, girl. And she about to induce trauma into these bitches. Because, baby, let me tell you something. If, if Megan 
if Megan get that goddamn petty girl, if she get that motherfucking gangster on these motherfucking hoes, bitch, I'm going to take one for the team, bitch. I am retiring as a card carrying member of the LGBT community. I am officially into women's girls and I will have been fully delivered, bitch. If Megan the Stallion comes with that level of goddamn grief, bitch. If she cometh, girl, in the morning with that level of trauma against these girls. This is going to be one for the ages. And if there's anybody who's been begging to be gathered, girl. If there's anybody who's been begging for a war zone, girl. If there's anybody who's been begging, bitch. For Putin, bitch. It's Miss Onika. She been calling for World War Three. Meet her demand. Meet her request, Megan. You the only bitch who got who can do it, bitch. You the only bitch who can do it, bitch. Cause you already doing it, bitch. You got it in you, bitch. This is bad bitch action, girl. <laughs> Megan won. She won. She won the war. Spiraled. What you just sent me, oh, uh, reckless. It was what something that going on. Uh, so what's going on? Explain it, cause uh, uh, they said uh, when Nikki apparently, when Nikki made the claim that Megan was trying to get her to drink while she was pregnant, apparently Nikki did a post and delete on Twitter. And basically let it be known at the time she was not pregnant when Megan was doing that. Wow. So Nikki is also lying. That's what the thing was saying. Hold on. Let me read it. Read it. Do you know what's worse? She told you all that bullshit while you pregnant. You were a person who knew how to deal with it. What if there are women who have already been advised by her in silence. Someone has to get this woman. Uh, 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 I wasn't pregos yet, though, babe. I told that funky serpent, though. Hold on, what? Girl. Hold on, what? Hold on, what? I was not pregos yet. I told that funky serpent, though. You shot you me. I am, girl, you know what? Any, any, anything else you want to say about a lion Minaj? No. Minaj, you girl. You want to drop the link? No, I don't. Oh, okay. So, no. No. <laughs> That's y'all queen of rap. Do you want to drop the link? Uh, uh, or, uh, if you don't want this live to be too long, you can do a second. It ain't going to be long if I do. Uh, oh, okay. I could drop. I mean, well, I feel, I feel complete, they bitch. They say they someone said in the comments they sent either you or me a DM. Let me check. I'm about to drop the link. DM of what? Let's see. Now you gonna reckless to one who want all the smoke? Cause, cause this is what he do, girl. He asked me to drop the link, and then he be the one gone. <laughs> I don't understand this tweet. She kept pushing and pushing at the end of the night before I leave. I look up, she's standing on the balcony with French Montana. Thought Moneybag was her boyfriend at the time, so I was confused, shy. No, girl, you was confused then, bitch, if you told a bitch you was pregnant when you wasn't pregnant, bitch. You, you was a confused bitch, Nicki Minaj. You just a weird, confused, girl. The Queen of Percocets needs to go sit down. The and get into much needed rehab, girl, and get her life in order because, girl, the queen it, of ibuprofen, bitch, the queen of non aspirins, bitch. Okay, get it's the queen of uppers, girl, bitch, the queen of narcotics, bitch, the queen of downers, bitch, the queen of poppers, bitch. <laughs> I wasn't prego yet, though. I told that funky serpent, though, I wasn't pregnant. I told the serpent a lie. And then going to accuse publicly the serpent of trying to get me to do something that would not have even endangered me at the time. Because you guess, because you know what the truth actually is? 
reckless? What? Megan knew the bitch wasn't pregnant either. That's why she was encouraging the bitch to take mm-hmm. a liquor drink. Now, why the fuck she was lying about it? I don't know. My thing is, Man, you know, I think I think that Nikki started the pregnancy rumors early on as a way to downplay her relationship to Kenneth because she was catching so much heat and she felt like probably introdu- introducing a pregnancy rumor would soften some of the heat on her and Kenneth as an idol. Like, oh, if they know we're pregnant. Well, to be completely honest, and, I, and I've said this before, I can see that in terms of she's really extremely smart. Nikki is not a fool. One thing I may talk a lot of, I may not be here for Nicki Minaj, but a fool she isn't. Now, she may act the fool, but for most things, she's not a fool. When she needs to be able to get things across and be able to misplace a detour, some type of intention, she knows how to do that very effectively because let's take some time in a time machine once again and let's go all the way back. Back when, of course, as we very know, Kenneth Petty, he was caught on social media having access to a firearm. But as we all know, through the guise of the legal judicial system and his current status, he's not supposed to have a firearm. And so at the time, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, both of their fan bases and them as well, but their fan bases specifically were going back and forth. And as a result of Kenneth Petty having a firearm where he's not allegedly, well, I'm going to say allegedly, where he's not supposed to have a firearm, the Barty gang was trying to bring more attention to it. And it was kind of picking up some traction. And so as a result, Nicki Minaj released a tweet saying, I'm going into retirement. Then there was a big, oh my God, Nicki Minaj is about to retire. Nicki Minaj is about to retire. And then everybody... Not me. A lot. Most people forgot about the firearm that Kenneth Petty had access to, and this is how we know that she was bullshitting about her retirement. Because last time I checked, how many singles have been put out? How many um? How many uh performances has this woman done? How many interviews has this woman been a part of? How many different media spaces in terms of her craft and her musically has she been a part of? And now we're here with another album and you're still talking about sales and stuff. And that tweet was made how long ago? So her being able, her being able to detour attraction (laughs) to something that she does not want you to pay attention to. She's very much capable of it. I've already seen it for myself. So that's not far fetched. Just a line. Uh, somebody here, uh, LaSanta just reminded us just like she let the barbs lie about her being pregnant when she was just fat because her and her fans couldn't take her getting the treatment they gave to Lil' Kim! It's yeah. funny how the tables turn, turn, turn. And then apparently, Nikki, according to uh, the tea that uh, T the goddess just uh, sent, girl, shout out to the street committee, was lying about a sister that she claimed she didn't know she had that she in fact did. Let me pull this up. Let me pull this out of my DM and put this up on the screen here. Hold on. Thumbs up if you guys are in the building, honey. Megan won the war, bitch. She won the war, girl. She got see-third for the second time around, girl. See-third down, girl. And that's probably also a part of why Nikki ass was spiraling tonight because she was re-traumatized by being uh, ethered down to the ground, girl. She was c third again, girl. She's still licking her wounds from Remy chewing her ass up off the bone like that, girl. And then Miss Megan came with an old dance visual, girl. An old hot music video of the year, girl. And had the audacity, honey. To body the fuck up, honey, and body their asses, girl. That second trauma be one hell of a damn trauma. Hold on, let me see if I can pull this up out of here. Uh, Talk to these people Uh, as I get this up out of the DMs. 
Yeah. Uh, Nick. Hold on. I, I I done pulled it out. Let me see oh, here. Pull this up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what. Okay, according to Hot Shot Radio's Twitter account, I think this is. Hold on, let me share my screen here. Now I don't know a lot about the deets of the story here, and nobody had hit the link, so I guess we ain't got to worry about nobody coming up. Okay. This is Hot Shot Radio. Why did Nikki make it seem to have just found out that she had a sister back in 2013 when Minge was about eight years of age? But a couple of months ago, Minge took to her Instagram to mock those claims. Minge posted a picture of Nikki, her real father, and Minge as what appears to be a toddler. And she captioned it by saying, remember this from 13 years ago. The math definitely ain't math, and it's something seems unreliable when it comes to Nikki's claims. Is you and Lotto going to run on me? Etc. I don't know what's going on here, but wow. So apparently, girl, there's some discrepancies. And, and, and the family tree and Onika uh, forgetting, girl, where she done came from, girl. She leaving whole relatives, girl, out of the narrative. <laughs> she pregnant when she wasn't pregnant, girl. I mean, this is a mess. And it's such a, it's just, it's unbelievable and it's a shame because the bitch is so pretty and she's so talented, even if sometimes she steal from other artists. But she's so talented, and to be so non-credible, to be a liar, a gaslighter, a fucking narcissist, and damn near a psychopath at this point is wild. And then to play victim when all your karma finally comes back to roost, girl, is crazy as hell. I'm so disappointed because I like Nicki music, but... Her persons is just wild, girl. I mean, it's wild. You be asking for these girls to swing when they swing. It's payola. It's the machine. It's the lawyers. It's the attorneys. Girl, you can't respond on wax like you told Lil' Kim to, girl, to shut the fuck up and put it in the music. And here it is. You put it on station head. Make it make sense. Why Nikki like this? And here's the other thing. She claimed that she had receipts. I still got the text messages, bitch. I still got the text messages, bitch. Why you didn't put out the text messages then, boo? It's a... Oh! Why? Why you didn't? I'm so sick of you whistleblowing ass girls with these narratives. I'm sick of the Jesse Smollays. I'm sick of the Christian Keys. I'm sick of... The, what's the other girl? What's the other uh, singer who just came out recently about um Kelly Price, girl? I'm sick of it. If y'all not going to really, really, really say something, then just shut the hell up. And this apparently is the image that her sister posted to social media asking her, girl, do you remember this bitch? You know exactly who the fuck I am. Acting like you just not hearing the news, girl. This was exclusive T girl before you had an ass, girl. Remember when you were still built up too slick? <laughs> not too slick. Remember, girl, when you were still built like Karen, girl, with the good hair? But also, this the image. Look at how my ass looking at you. Then you see the at minge, at least we know who was the cutest one. Take your troll looking ass somewhere. Eh. Apparently, one of these is minge. Wow. But you know what else that reminded me of? Uh-huh. That reminded me of when the Harper Bazaar situation happened. How... Nicki Minaj and her team and or her team, well, her and her team had said that they had video footage. And if you remember when she was on Queen Radio, and I heard this for myself, she said that when Cardi B walked up, she saw her team, Cardi B's team recording 
Cardi B walking up and trying to attack mm-hmm. her. That's what she's that's what she said on Queen Radio. Mm-hmm. I heard that. I, I was watching it. I she also it. claimed that she had personal footage of there, the there we go. Hit. That's exactly what I was gonna get to. And then she later on said that she had she was she had footage of the incident and then made a tweet saying that she was gonna pay somebody, I want to say a hundred grand fifty whoever got the footage uh-huh. for footage. Mm-hmm. And then, and then she tried to clean up and say, no, of course I have my own footage, but I'm talking about from the venue. I paid them for a, another angle of the footage. If you Nicki Minaj, what you putting a tweet out for, what you need to do is be making some calls. If you are, girl, how are you going to ask for another angle and you didn't even put out the angle you claim you got, bitch? Because you didn't have nothing. Just right. lying. Just lying. Right. That, that's why I'm like, girl. Just lying. The, 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 and these and uh, and this is the reason why and got the nerve to come out with a song called No Frauds, make it make motherfucking sense. And this is the reason why, when she speaks, these are all the things that <laughs> that <laughs> that comes to my head. These are all the things that I hear when she goes to speak about her quote unquote experience of her being done wrong. But I'm like, girl, did we forget about Little Kim? And the shit that you did to her. And then when she talks about the machine and how corrupt it is, I'm like, girl, weren't you part of that machine at one point in time? Like, it's stuff like that that points out to me when she talks about her experience. Now, keep in mind, if any, if, if none of that stuff happened, she'll probably have a leg to stand on. But you don't have a foundation because everything that you complained about, you've done. And then on top of it, it's different if you've done those things and you actually say, you know what? I was fucked up. I did this. I did that. Blah, 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 blah. But you haven't even done that, so it doesn't even give you a solid ground to stand on. So apparently, this is Onika's father, who apparently, uh, you know, he he it, it passed yeah. away from a hit and run. Yeah. Apparently, he also was addicted to drugs, and he was a bit of a man whore, and got around and was a floozy himself. And someone is alleged in the comment section that he's also a grapist, like his oh, wow. son. So this may be where N- Onika gets her, uh, her grapist apologist spirit from, or, or get the spirit of mammification from, girl. While she's the queen of mammies, honey. Now this apparently is Ming, her younger sister, who's twenty years younger than she is on the lap of their father, honey. Okay, now apparently Onika just recently acted like, oh, she just all of a sudden found out she had a sister, honey. She being knew this damn woman. And being knew this was her damn sister, girl. <laughs> just lying, honey, because all narcs live in fairy tale land. They all live in fairy tale land. They all do. J990 says, I really think Nikki was great by her brother and father. It may have been. Because it's clear that something happened to Onika, baby. Like, this type of fuckery don't just, it ain't created, girl. Like, I mean, like, it don't come with you from the spirit world. Something definitely happened in her lived experiences that was very traumatic because it's all in her personality type. It's all in this uh sp- this schizophrenia. She likes to call her alter ego girl. It's in this anger and this rage. It's in, you know, how male identified she is, girl. You know, despite the fact that Nikki has um collaborated with more female artists than any other female, you know, even those things were done strategically. And for optic purposes. And we can see now that she largely likes to use females to do her dirty work. That's largely her motivation. To play nice. She ain't playing nice because she's a girl's girl. There's an agenda when she's playing nice to the girls. That's why all the girls end up, end up having issues with this girl. <laughs> because it's not pure of heart. But something definitely happened to her. And remember, in that documentary on MTV, she said that her father burnt down the childhood home, that she came home on one day and her father had done burnt down the whole goddamn house, girl. He had done turned the whole goddamn house into a goddamn fireplace, child. A raging maniac. And she still had a lot of love and empathy for him then, girl. Still. 
was a daddy's girl. When that house was on fire, still a daddy's girl. On fire, still daddy's girl. Perka said up, girl, daddy's girl. Cheat, allegedly cheating on the mama. Daddy's girl. Children out of wedlock. Like, Daddy's girl. The pick Misha been in there for a long time, baby. This been a this been a pick Misha that they got started on early on in life, baby. That's why she likes to hang with the boys, ride with the boys. She got respect for the boys. She always want to do the girls in. I just got sent something else. Hold on. Hold on, girl. The intel is coming in. And this and this is the reason why, like, her, her bars, and, and plus, I'm going to say, even her response, as in her putting it on wax, is not going to hit the way that it, it needs to hit. Because it, for the most part, everything that you can say about Megan, you can say about yourself. Like, you can't make domestic violence bars against her when you have domestic violence such incidences surrounding you and your name so also with meek mill and not only with meek mill i remember there was also a domestic situation with her and safari i remember when it came out uh, that police had responded to their hotel or something right. there was some type of a domestic dispute girl it was kind of real undercover but yeah and then right. there was like audio and shit mm -hmm. right and then you can't say anything about megan's mother because your father is also not here. Yes. <laughs> your father. You can't talk about men in terms of Megan because your husband. You love who both? You love who both? Somebody talking about my family? Because you will get blocked right now. Sweetheart, I don't give a fuck. Uh, did you hear her? A reckless that she said that she'll block your motherfucking ass right now, bitch. I'm not a fan anyway. She be right. now. This apparently is the sus Nikki's dad, etc. And they look alike. Even her sister looks um like she has an Asian uh, descent. Hold on, who is the girl supposed to be? Is the girl supposed to be the sister? They they are given relatives. Girl, it is given blood relation, but this is the dad. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So Onika Ben knew about this damn woman, child. Minch Mirage. Wow. Her half sister. Wow, 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 wow. Just coming out acting like she just knew who this damn woman was, girl. These people in childhood pictures together. They living under Section 8 together, girl. Back in the late 90s, girl. Acting like this is exclusive news, girl. Like, wow, wow. I had no idea. Why? But what? For life for what? Oh, I forgot. That's a part of the Pitmisha complex, wanting to protect her father's reputation because acknowledging that she had a half sister would also mean she would have to acknowledge her father's wrongdoings and infidelities and his fluziness, etc. And because she's very male identified, she's not interested in really telling the truth about men, only doing women in. So, yeah, she's a male apologist. This makes sense, then, why she did not, in fact, want to acknowledge this woman until she absolutely had to. It's all a part of the mammification. Wow, 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 wow. Shout out to the tea goddess for the tea, honey. Wow. And it looked like the sister want to talk. Has the sister done any interviews? It looked like the sister want to talk, girl. And it looked like she got itchy fingers, girl. Look like she itching um toward hitting the stream yard link, bitch. She hates herself and hates other women for it. So the lady with the other baby is her mom. No, that's Nicki Minaj in that picture. Unless her damn mama look no like that's Nikki sitting next to her dad and her sister, her half sister is on the lap of the father, apparently. That's the half sister. That's this girl. 
as a baby, apparently, on the daddy in the daddy's lap. Nikki's sister looks more like Nikki than Nikki. Nikki is 20 years older. Yeah, this is the younger half-sister, apparently. Let me show y'all the other picture again. Because the daddy was uh, fucking other women. The daddy was having under was having other children, shy. But why, why, why she disowned her? I think it was because she was protecting the manosphere. That's what mammies do. They protect men at all costs. They make them look perfect and holy and and look like you know a savior figure. That's what they do. This is what makes mammies dangerous, honey. They'll throw the women under the bus before they sh uh, throw these niggas under the bus. And if they can throw the women under the bus in order to maintain the air and the reputation of the men, they will. Yeah, a, a papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his head, girl, became his home. There might be other damn churins and half-siblings and shit. That Minaj may not know about. You know, the same man that burnt down the family home and shit, child. Oh, that might be where she get her genetics from. Now that I'm thinking about it, it the same crazy gene in her daddy might have been transferred to her. They do say that a mental illness is hereditary. It is genetic. Yeah, this is why they always ask you, you know, does so-and-so run in your family? Okay, somebody else saying that they heard that Minge was is Nikki's daughter. I wouldn't be girl. I, girl, what if this is the long lost daughter of her and Kenneth Petty? Girl, because remember, apparently Kenneth Petty was knocking, uh, at, was hitting her ass up under this Colin shit, was beating her ass too. Apparently, word on the curb is that Petty s ate Nikki. Yeah, um, I I heard about that. Uh, apparently, mm -hmm. it was like a post. I'm gonna see, can I find it, and then we can listen to it together. But I had seen earlier there was what? a post apparently on Nicki Minaj was on Queen Radio and explaining mm -hmm. how they met or some something like that. And somebody had, I guess they had the caption says something about her being 14, him 19. I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh huh. Right. And she tried to, and she tried to correct it, but it had already it. it had already came out. I remember that. Mm hmm. Oh, the other pick is of her alleged, hold on, is of her alleged father. Robert is to step down. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. So let me get it straight. So the man here is the stepdad. This picture here is of the biological father. Mm -hmm. Who is an alleged floozy. Got it. Okay, so Nikki had a stepdad. Now, the stepdad is the one right who burnt down the house. No. I'm, I'm going to have to really get into Nikki's origin stories, girl. Okay, I found it. I'm going to send it to you. Girl, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. And you got me up here working, honey. If y'all enjoying yourself, uh, hit the cash at PayPal, girl, because we're working, honey. Okay, reporting live from Winsboro High. Okay, Gail Weathers and uh, um and her cameraman on location right now. Hold on, let me pull this from my Instagram. Hold on, somebody else said no. Her okay, the real okay. So the this dad here is the one who burnt down the house. The biological father. Okay, this is from Twitter. Let me pull this up. Hot shot radio girl getting to all the tea. Oh Lord. Okay. So listen to this, y'all. Hold on. Let me uh change my microphone. Oh, Kenneth Petty was in the studio with her. They was having a face to face. Let me switch. They're, my at, they're asking you what's your cash app. I'm gonna let you answer it. Oh. I'm about to put it on the screen, y'all. Hold on. It's my um a dollar sign, my channel name, but I'm about to put it up on the banner here. 
Cash App Dollar Sign Conscious TV or PayPal. Okay, let me pull up what Reckless just sent me. This is from Queen Radio, and this is Nikki, I guess, getting caught up in a lie because there is an age discrepancy between her and Kenneth as well. But listen to this. They was asking me, where did you fit in the picture of my love life? Like, where did you come about? Because they're like, oh, whoa, this timeline is starting to overlap. So, <sighs> yes, I'm the person that I that I was rapping out when I met at, when I was 15, 14, 15. The person that you guys asked me about, this was a dope question. 14, is the person 15. who basically got wow cheated on with and he was the person that it was and um and then you saw him and fought him beat the shit out of him they was asking me where did you fit in the picture of my love the life? person like, they met they was asking, and, you know what the gag is she thought she was doing him one better by saying 15 both of those make her minors whether she's 14 or 15, the person you met when they were just 14, 15, is speaking about herself. Where did you fit in the picture of my love life? Like, where did you come about? Because they're like, oh, whoa, this timeline is starting to overlap. So, <sighs> yes, I'm... The person that I owe, that I was rapping out when I met at, when I was uh, Mark A, please don't bring your delayed, late, tired ass up in here, girl. Two and a half hours late to damn church service, slinging around, uh, irrelevant ass feedback, bitch. And you ain't hit the cash app, the PayPal, not near time, bitch. You ain't share this damn link and, 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 and promote the damn Kang or Reckless, girl. So unless you in here putting in some motherfucking work, girl, you don't get the sound off from the nosebleeds, bitch. And speaking of putting in that work, let me shout out to my baby mother, honey, for the old nasty piece of cash out. Honey, how doing? How doing? Shout out to my baby mother, Eve, for handling business, honey. Fed it on big business. <laughs> Thank you, baby mother. Now let's listen to this one more time. This is interesting. Let's they listen to this. They was asking me, where did you fit in the picture of my love life? Like, where did you come from? Did you hurt like, me? Oh, whoa, this timeline is starting to overlap. So, <sighs> yes, I'm. The person that I that I was rapping out when I met when I was fifteen, fourteen, fifteen. The person that you guys asked me about. This was a dope question. Is the person who basically got cheated on with, and he was the person that it was. And um, what do you then, think? What do you think of this, reckless? What are your thoughts? Well, so. Uh, Fifi just asked, how did he go to prison? Well, he didn't go to prison for being a pedo. He went to prison for okay. being a grapist. So him and Jennifer were close in age. I think he was like a year or two older than her, but he graped her. So that's how he ended up on the SA Offenders Registry. But what do you think about this reckless? It makes sense. Yeah, and brings it brings into context of why she thinks the way that she thinks, or or the perception that she has in terms of the way that she may interact, navigate certain situations or or incidences that she's been in, and also it takes into it it, it allows us to step into her shoes in terms of and getting more of an understanding of. Oh, now that makes sense. And now I think I know why, even though I can't say I know why. I know why you may view certain concepts as okay. You have no issue or don't take any issue with Jennifer Huff. 
in terms of disrespecting her and shaming her is because you have Stockholm syndrome. You don't take you. The reason why you you have no issue with disrespecting or disregarding SA victims is because you you sadly enough you were a victim yourself and you're suffering from Stockholm syndrome. You have no issue with teasing a woman about her abuse of being quote unquote shot in the foot is because you have been abused, a.k.a. Meek Mill, a.k.a. Safari, yourself. So and you're suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. Now it makes sense because I didn't know that. The last part I didn't know. So now it's fully clicking. Is it okay? Now this is because we keep in mind, I only watch Cream Cream Queen Radio. <laughs> <laughs> All the A's. Not Cream Radio. Queen Radio. <laughs> only watched it probably like that. Only time we had to do with the at the height of Cardi B and Nicki Minaj beef because I was recovering. I was trying to cover it. And me and you was going live. I think me and you was going live mm-hmm. about it. I was trying to keep up what was going on. But I, I don't watch Queen Radio, so I never heard that. That was the first time I'm hearing that, and so it makes sense. And even with wow. the, even, even with you coming to defense of your own brother, mm-hmm. it makes sense now. Yes, he's made you. He may be your brother. Yes, that may be your father. Yes, that may be this, that, and the third, and da, 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 da. And all these abuses are close around her, like the father, the, the brother. Now the husband, it's the industry, Birdman, uh, Takashi. Because her, remember, Birdman her, allegedly her, had grown the little Wayne her and was teaching him ego. how to kiss and shit. Her alter ego. Her alter ego. I mean, it's just, oh, oh, oh. See, now my empathy is pouring out. Nikki needs help. Yeah. She needs help. She needs deep psycho therapy the woman needs help girl she's living in a sa wonderland her mind is damaged that's some sad shit wow and i'm looking for mcdonald's as we're talking about this the veggie part of the menu at that girl. bitch hungry bitch i need something immediate girl a veggie burger or something wow um so what happens from here then do you think that uh kenneth is going to be onika's downfall no sure, she already been downfalling She already been downfalling. This everything she, that she's been doing, like that's I'm like, I don't know why everybody shocked. Everything that Nicki Minaj has been doing has been on brand. I think the only I, I I don't think anybody who follows her is shocked. I, I think the people who are shocked are the, are the people who don't keep up with all of this. And no, they I'm, talk, I'm talking about even when people say her downfall, she been downfalling. Now she has been successful career wise, but but that's what we mean, her, like that. They, they, but that's what we mean. No, the downfall no, or downfall. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is that her career while she was going up, but how however her character has not <laughs> been going up as well. Because the thing about it, the, the hard truth that Nicki Minaj has le- had learned, has learned, is that the same people you meet going up are the same people you're gonna have to meet going down. So does even though her career has been pre- propelling up 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 and then she got to her peak but on the way going up she was treating people like shit and she was disrespecting her legends she was talking to big people crazy she was stealing from people she was gaslighting people and all these executives and da, 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 da. and that's the reason why we have this stigma or this rumor and there's the whispers of Nicki Minaj is a bully then now she's at her peak and then she slowly starts to make her way down and now these same execs the same artists, the same um corporate corporate giants that you see, because everybody has their peak, everybody has their fall. Especially to her point, this is a industry and a and or a job career where 
you are you have a stock life. You have just about I'm gonna say 10 years as a female rapper. If you're selling sex, after those 10 years, you start to make your decline, or within those 10 years, towards the end, you start to make your decline. It doesn't matter how how talented you are. And so when you're doing, you're making your decline, that can determine on the way that you treated people on the way up. That can determine how was gonna how things are gonna play out for you on the way down. Here's the gag. Nikki clearly still has a lot more in her. Like, as long as she continues to be great. Because the industry don't really cancel people because they are assholes. Yeah. So if she got the talent for it, she's going to be successful. It's just a shame that she doesn't get to be celebrated for who she is also. That she's only going to be able to be celebrated as a musician. It would be nice to really be able to celebrate who Nikki is. Like, I'm just so sick of everybody at the tippity top being so raggedy. I just like, can't, is there not anybody capable of going to the top and just being Christ filled, just being loving, standing on substance, like doing inspirational things with their platform, being dope and artistic? Like, don't people realize all those things can exist in one thing? Like, you can have all of that in one person. I think Beyonce is a reasonably great example of that. Like, you can have a humility. You can have, at, at the same time, a bad bitchness, an incredible talent. You can stand for something. Also, take no shit. Be truly bossed up. Like, all those things can. And, and Beyonce is still a girl's girl. Shouting out uh, Erica Badu, Lizzo, etc. Missy Elliott did it. Why does everybody at the table have to be a mean girl? Including the niggas. Like, a mean oh. girl. It's not It's not necessary. I, but I understand it comes out of a poverty mentality. It comes out of a lack mentality. Because a lot of these a lot of these gatekeepers came from the slums and the ghettos and the hoods. And they only feel like it's enough space for one of us. There's only enough resources for yeah. one of us. So it caused everybody to be stingy with the opportunities. Capitalism. Really? And it's wild. I want to like Nicki Minaj as a person. She has accomplished so much. I want to like her. But she's trash. She's fucking trash. Mm. But she fucked around. And karma manifested first as Cardi. Now it's manifesting as Megan. Well, and actually, no, it was first Remy, because that's when people it manifested as yes, because because Remy, people Cardi, that, now Megan, and rather all these hosts will combine. They might be more from Power Ranger. The powers is going to be interesting. And 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 you can't forget Doja, because what Doja does, she she. She does the trolling aspect of Nikki. That Doja is going to get under Nikki Minaj's skin real bad because it's so passive aggressive. <laughs> it's so passive. It's not like explicit, like in this case with Megan Accardi or Remy. It's 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 like almost undetectable, and it almost make you. It's it's designed to make you look crazy if you call it intentional. Like that's like. And it's because Doja is a real life troll, so she is masterful at being able to be passive aggressive, to send shots and play in a person's face and fuck with their psychology because she that's who she was before she got put on as a pop star. Nikki better start putting out these fires, girl. This ain't gonna work out for her in, in, in the long run because where she fucking up at is all these girls, all her ops, they're actually talented. And then, these girls, these girls are incredibly gifted. And then, even, even Miss Remy is having a slow comeback. And no, but the thing that I'm saying as well, and that's why I said the people that you're meeting up are the same ones you're gonna have to meet down, is because you beef with all these girls, and like, and that goes back to what I said earlier. All of these other people. Now I said it's in terms of Megan, but this also applies to Nikki. All these people are a 
are is considered an entity. They have teams. They're associated with corporate, quote unquote, giants. They have people who are backing them. This is their money, their cash cow. They're not going to allow you to disrespect their cash cow. And it goes to the same thing I said about Tory Lanez. No, they're going to allow the disrespect. No, no, wait, what no, they're no, going no, to no, do no, is no. they're going to what they're going to do is they're going to fund the response. No, no. The thing is this. The same thing I said about Tory Lanez. You claim that you're scared about Rock Nation and what they're going to do. But you're continuously swinging on other celebrities, other people within the industry who are also connected to other giants. So if you're if you say you're scared of this one giant, why the fuck are you adding other other giants? On you're top answering of your own question. Giants? It's because she's lying. The giants don't exist. All of those things were just convenient narratives for I Nicki know. Minaj for Nicki Minaj to attempt to explain the eras in her life where she was not successful because it couldn't be that I just didn't do well. It can't just be that I just produce a body of work that people weren't feeling. It couldn't be it's because I got a terrible ass attitude, etc. and I'm off putting. It had to be because there were machines that went against me. There were corporations and all of this shit. It was never real. She don't even believe that she's no, saying but, now. But that's but that's my point. That's my point. That's why she comes for Jay Z and Beyonce themselves. <laughs> because that's, that's my point. <laughs> that is my point. It's a fucking excuse. She is full of it, <laughs> and that's the reason why I say if, if y'all if y'all even believe this shit that she be saying. That's on y'all at this at this point. Now somebody said, "Why no Grammys because of the Giants?" No, see, but that's the thing, right? If you get okay, so this is where the politicking kind of comes into play at the Grammys is full of a bunch of humans who make up a committee. So you're being nominated maybe because of your streams, maybe because of your sales, maybe because of whatever. But what you take home from the Grammys is going to be determined by your peers, the people who make up the Grammys committee. If you are a bitch. If you are an asshole, if you have a stank ass attitude and disposition and you have a haltedness about yourself, do you think your peers are going to be interested in seeing you, you to the top? Your fans may. But do you think the people who are in control of whether you are accolated are going to be interested in giving you one more thing that's going to make you think you're better than everybody in the room, including them? Of course not. Of course, when you're known for having an overinflated ass ego, the people who may be in control of resources to an extent are not going to be interested in giving you and your big headed ass one more thing to be boastful about. One more fucking thing to be braggadocious about. One more thing to fuel your fucking narcissism. But because Nikki can't help. But just be who she really, truly, ultimately is. And she doesn't think she has to do better because she has a fan base for one that she now is confident is going to support her no matter what. And she put that to test last year when she manifested that online insurrection against everybody. She, she dragged people for their HIV status. She endangered other black female commentators who her fans doxed, etc., threatened, etc. And guess what? Her fan base was still here and helped her to go to number one with Super Freaky Grandma. That was international. The song and the remix went to the top of the charts in 14 different countries. So between her knowing that she has a cult following now and that she has an undeniable talent, she doesn't feel she has to be a decent person because both of those things, the coat following and the talent, are always going to incubate her. 
are always going to make sure that she forever is standing on solid ground. These are the things that cult members are made out of. It's the Jim Jones effect. Which means that the only person now who could really take her out honestly is herself. Narcissists eventually do self-destruct. Just like Jim Jones did. Just like many other narcissistic leaders in time. Just like a Trump ass facing 391 damn indictments. Might be in prison before the uh, second single drops from Pink Friday too. Mm-hmm. Well, so how this thing gonna turn out in the end? It's gonna go down in the blaze of glory, of course. If her man is well over 40 and still getting locked the fuck up and evading parole and having to be brought before the parole board and being sentenced to 60 goddamn months on the damn couch, girl. And then Onika's personality ain't getting no better, girl. She's spiraling and skiing from the basement, girl, after getting dragged to life. But her rival, honey, if Nicki Minaj keep this up, girl, she's going to end up with dementia. Yeah, she's going to be identifying as a damn ring light at some point. (laughs) Stress will do that to the brain. It will do that to the mind. Okay? Okay? So, I think that's the conclusion, girl. Megan fucking ate. If you're going to beef, bitch, this how you do it, girl. Little of this, put it in the art, honey. Tear these motherfucking hoes up. In the art, honey. Okay? Make make talking your shit worth it for you, honey. Make talking your shit translate into moolah and accolades, honey. Okay? This how you do it, girl. Fuck going to war with a bitch on Twitter, on X, on Instagram, on YouTube, bitch. And make sure that first and foremost, you get a bang for your shit. This was epic. This was a whole site op program, girl. Nicki Minaj never saw it coming. And Megan won because she got her lick and she made Nicki enter into a psychosis, girl. She can't put it on the wax. Because she's off the damn wax, in fact. Nicki Minaj embarrassed herself and probably will continue on to spiral for the rest of the week, girl. Okay, I I ain't even pulled up all of the tweets, girl. I thought she writing whole biblications, girl, trying to explain the machine. Trying to explain, girl, trying to tally up. Trying to take her, she's trying to substitute her L. By talking about her wins, girl, her streams, and this, that, and the third, and, and and well, you got Grammys, but you don't, but you don't billboard, you don't chart, girl. The Grammys aren't largely about charting either, girl. They have given Grammys to indie artists, for God's sakes, on the Grammys. But leave that as it may. That does not excuse the fact that she ripped. Your ass, a new one, Onika. Charting or no charting, bitch. Selling or no selling, bitch. Whatever you want to call it, girl, you got rinsed and your motherfucking ass got washed, girl. And you're taking one of the biggest musical rap bitch L's at the top of the year for 2024, girl. And the only way you're going to be able to even out this ass whipping is if you get Megan the Stallion to come out next, girl, as a result of what you put out, crying and wailing and losing her damn wig, running bald head through the streets of Manhattan, girl, in her goddamn Tasha K corn rose wig off. Megan out and raised the bar, bitch, for what the win got to be. You gonna have to, whatever you gonna say, girl, in response is gonna have to trigger her ass 
to be in them New York streets running bald head girl through traffic with no edges, cornrows undone, and wig the fuck off in the middle of the street, girl. If your response does not warrant that, I don't give a damn how dope that instrumental is. I don't give a damn how many variations of foot you can come up with, bitch. Megan motherfucking one girl. Because she kicked you straight in the coochie. That big foot was up that big puss tonight. Large, baby. And you felt every toe in that hole, baby. You felt every toe, baby. That coochie must be cramped up right now, girl. Bigfoot went into a big puss. You told Kim, Nikki, to put it on the mic, bitch. We telling you to do the same thing, girl. Shut the fuck up and rap, bitch. Hit the video set, girl. Go figure out where uh Dave Myers. And the rest of them goddamn directors are at, girl, and get to work, Miss Mamas. You got work to do, girl. Megan is putting you to work for 2024, bitch. Big foot up a big puss. On that note, we're complete. Reckless, tell these folk where they can find you at again. And while y'all at it, make sure that y'all showing the king some love on Cash App and PayPal, girl, because we're working. Also, give out your handles, Reckless. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the land of Reckless Logic. Please make sure you guys pop that like button, hit the subscribe button, and please, please, please smack that notification bell so do not miss any more posts from us. My name is Reckless Logic. You can most definitely, definitely find me over on YouTube at, Re at Reckless Logic with two C's, and you can most definitely find me on Instagram as well, where I do make a lot of my announcements in terms of when I'm going to go live. What, I'm, what I may go live about and also give you guys uh, input on certain things I may not be aware of, but you know, it's something that's really trending and you want, you kind of want to know my opinion on it and you just let me know about it um, at Reckless Logic as well. Of course, with two C's. That's it. I just want to kick this shit off by saying, fuck y'all. I ain't got to clear my name on a motherfucking thing. Every time I get mentioned, one of y'all bitch ass niggas get 24 hours of attention. I'm yeah. going to get this shit off my chest and lay it to rest. Let's go. And if the beat live, I, I feel like Mariah Carey. Got these niggas so obsessed. My pussy so famous might get managed by Chris Jenner next. He can't move on, can't let it go. He hook nose full of that teen snow. And since niggas need making help to make money, bitch, come be my hoe. All you bitches is we gonna bribe. How can shit for a north to find you? How can never be just by a bitch that's dancing, making all Kelly go viral? Hey, I'm sexy as fuck and I'm freaky. Get whoever I want any meaning. Why the fuck would I stay with a nigga that's freaky? The sheets and don't know how to play.